see what brings me here. It's a mother to all my wanderings. The valley's green will age with me. It's dirt will shine and linger. The year is 1881, and the history is not our own. A little less than 20 years ago, a dreadful evil was unleashed upon the world in a supernatural event those in the know call the reckoning. Dark godlike beings and their servants, called Manitous by some, demons by others, flooded the world with magical energy at a time it was definitely not ready for it. Some say the dead got up and walked again, while those of a spiritual bent, or an arcane one, found themselves in possession of more power than they'd ever dreamed of. The effects were dramatic, to say the least. Here in North America, the Civil War raged on long past Gettysburg. The Lakota Nation, with some help from their allies, reclaimed the North and South Dakota states, former states now. Most of California fell into the Pacific Ocean in a great quake, in the process, creating a maze of sea canyons and revealing a new superfuel called Ghost Rock. Throughout all that, the war, between the, state, the war between the states kept on going until 1871, the North gaining a hard-won victory in a final pitched battle at the nation's capital. It's a lot harder to win a war when the bodies won't stay down. But even though that war ended, Another between the nation's top rail barons raged on as they fought bloody battles in a race to be the first to complete a transcontinental railroad and gain an exclusive government contract. Of course, the fact that some railroad companies were now using ghost rock fueled trains and weapons while others were secretly using magic didn't help to resolve things quickly. And even though the victor has at last been decided in the contest to reach the Great Maze, there are still plenty more routes to snatch up between there and back east as the next round of the Great Rail Wars begins. Life out here in the Weird West goes on, despite the fact that abominations from mankind's legends and nightmares are stalking the earth. Folks don't realize the terrors that are out there, in part because the government's covering it up. The Union's enforcers, special service agents, most of them former Pinkertons, up north and Texas Rangers down south, try to keep the supernatural in line and have at least been successful enough that the creatures that go bump in the night are thought of as just stories by most. But that's not just them. See, the monsters know to keep to the shadows. They cultivate more fear that way, keeping out of sight until the right moment. Fear's important to them. They feed on it. And some say, once they've created enough fear, their masters, the reckoners, will emerge to bring about hell on earth. It sounds pretty grim, but not all hope is lost, not yet. There are still heroes out there who struggle to push back the darkness. Gunslingers, warriors, law dogs, soldiers, muckrakers, and even some outlaws fight evil wherever they see it. And that's not all. There are hucksters who sling magical hexes, wily scientists, mad scientists, some call them, who use the power of ghost rock to fuel their creations. Shamans who commune with the spirits, preachers and other folk of a spiritual leaning who perform miracles, and heck, there are even martial artists out there who channel the power of their chi. If enough people fight back against the Reckoner's fear-mongering, they just might stand a chance of defeating them. They won't have an easy time of it, though. There are fewer and fewer heroes every day. There's a reason for that, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. For now, let's just say there's an even chance death will end up taking a personal interest in the heroes of this story. I guess it's time for me to put them to task. I'm Marshall Jim. Some folks call me Doc. Welcome to Deadlands.
Well, let's get our posse introduced here, shall we? <laughs> so we can find out exactly uh, who's here and what we're, what they're doing. Let's uh, go around and uh, see uh, who these folks are and who they're playing. Uh, let me start. Uh, I'm going to start uh, bottom left. Let's start with Pope. Hello, Pope. Hey, everybody. Pope here. Oh, Nelly. It has been a... Yeah, it's been over a decade since I've been in the Weird West. And it feels intimidating to be back. A lot has changed, much for the better, but it's still weird, and it's still as deadly as ever. Today I'm going to be playing the one dandy a bunch of all these roughnecks. Uh, Dr. Erasmus G. Hazard, recent graduate of Yale University. Uh, good at the medicine, better at other things, but that's a tale for another time. I cannot wait to see this character. Um, and let's uh, move on to Dot. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm Dot. I am stupidly excited to be here because I mean, Greg has like never invited me to play on his channel. I just every everybody to know that this is the first time I have been on Greg's channel. It is a it is a it is a moment uh, of truth here. Uh, so I am so excited. First off, this is one of my favorite like historical time periods. So there's like the nerd side of me that's into that, and then uh, you're gonna you know toss some undead goodness on top. So what better uh, thing to be than a nun? So uh, I am playing Sister Ruth Ramos. Uh, she is um, a deep Southern girl from Savannah, Georgia, um, who has a bit of a dark past. Uh, she's probably seen things that nobody was supposed to see and live from. Uh, and it changed her, how you say, faith uh, and what she believes in. So now she uh, walks about spreading joy and healing and truth where it is needed most. Yay. I have a feeling they're going to need it, so it's good that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. <clears throat> and uh, she may not be the holiest of ladies, but she, she's trying. It's difficult in this dark time. And Stephen, hello. Hello, Jim. How are you? Uh, I am playing Elijah Hunt DuPont. He is a U.S. Marshal. He is a Civil War ex-soldier. He has been... Uh, he has seen things that he does not want to remember. He is a boozer. He is a U.S. Marshal now, and he is out to find his sister. She has been out there causing all sorts of mayhem, and he wants to bring her down and bring her in and say, what are you doing? But he has met, he has been with her. So he, <laughs> listen, in all honesty, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly is my favorite movie. You tie Civil War, you tie the West, you put it together and that's that. So I feel like I'm in that world. This is where I want to be and uh, I love it. So thank you and I'm ready to go. And, and he's a sharpshooter. So I'm a little off brand with that, but uh, he's ready to go. Well, if any job is going to turn you to drink, it's definitely going to be working as a U.S. Marshal in this setting. So <laughs> best of luck, sir. Awesome, awesome, awesome to have you. And uh, let's go around to Lauren. Hi. Hello. Hi, Jim. I'm Hi. Lauren. You know that. I'm that salty ginger over on Twitter, and I'm playing Valentine DuPont, the aforementioned sister, who's literally right here. I don't know why you're looking for me. I'm literally right here. Uh, she's nasty in the good way, both with a knife and other stuff. And uh, she has no secrets, because, yeah, no secrets. There are no secrets here. I've never had a secret in my life. Why have secrets? Yeah, it's, it's, it's They're RPG. pointless. No one does that. Pointless. No. No, 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 never, never. <laughs> and uh, finally, let us hop over to Greg. Hi. Listen, I'm not going to waste too much time here. I'm playing the outlaw, Willie Kenner. Um, I cannot wait to play this game. I get to play with some of my very favorite people in the entire world. Um, this has been an absolute labor of love just to this point. And to have Jim in the Marshall's chair and the incredible amount of work that he has already done for this, 
I can't, I'm, t I'm not, there isn't a movie that I've been looking forward to. <laughs> Man, I'm looking forward to playing this game. I get to play it with my buddies. I get to be GM by a buddy. Let's play this. Mount up. Let's do it. Excellent. Good, good. Well, let's get on it then, shall we? Let's see. So we're going to start with uh, one of the West's most honored traditions, a hanging. So... It has been a, a rough two weeks uh, as the posse is hunted and finally captured a dangerous thief and murderer known as the demon Eli Watts. Uh, they tracked him along the Santa Fe Trail to Fletcher Hill, New Mexico, a tiny postage stamp of a town with barely any population to it. And there they trapped him and handed him over to the authorities. Among the posse, one hates Watts on general principle one has been chasing him for a long time. One has learned as much as they can about him and figured out his next move. One lured him out to be captured and one used to ride with him. Now they're gonna see him strung up. Fletcher Hill doesn't have a town marshal so the county sheriff was called. Uh, sheriff Bailey pried Judge Clark away from his usual seat at the bar and dragged him out to try and sentence Watts. It was a very quick trial there are plenty of thieves and murderers to look out for on this part of the trail, so they didn't have a lot of time to devote to just this one. Uh, they set up in the empty freight office, and within half an hour, Eli Watts was sentenced to swing. So, as we uh, start this thing up, he says, moving his, uh, moving his script to the side here, uh, we're actually going to be, uh, we're going to be where the best, the best hanging tree is in this tiny, not even town, just outside of it, uh, in the graveyard. So there's a nice, big, thick, gnarly old tree that stands on this little hill in the middle of their, uh, in the middle of their graveyard there in, uh, in this place, in, uh, in Fletcher Hill. And, uh, so it's there amongst the graves that everyone stands and uh, waits for the prisoner to be brought out and ultimately is just across the street from uh, is the freight office. And uh, there they see Deputy Cowan leading, uh, leading Watts out. Um, sort of a spindly uh, little fellow Deputy Cowan is. Um, uh, the, the, the only deputy the sheriff had time to bring basically. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sheriff Bailey is standing, uh, is uh, sort of standing not too far from uh, from the front near the uh, near where they've set up the gallows and and the horse. There's not really a gallows. There's a there's a rope. There's a horse. That's basically what we've got here. And uh, then also here gathered is is Judge Clark, and uh, a priest of their acquaintance, a, uh, a reverend, uh, Reverend Baines, um, elderly old fellow. Um, it was a little bit of help with him that um, at least one of the party had uh, met up with him a little bit, uh, a little bit sooner, sort of knew him already, um, that I think would be the sister. Um, and uh, so he helped kind of a little bit sort of sell the whole thing as you were getting ready to uh, uh, capture Watts. It was also uh, the interesting thing is that Watts recognized him. Apparently Watts knows Reverend Baines from somewhere. And... Uh, Reverend Baines, of course, has his passages picked out. <laughs> Cowan is going to lead Watts up to the horse, get him on it. He's going to get the noose around the neck. Watts just comes out. He's struggling a lot, but uh, otherwise seems to be calm. He's got uh, kind of uh, wild hair. He's got a big scar down one side of his face. Um... And he's just kind of, while his body language doesn't seem to, uh, to indicate it so much, he is, he's kept this smile plastered on it the whole time. He's just shaking his head as if kind of laughing at a joke at himself. Now, as we go around and everyone is witnessing this scene, uh, the, uh, the Reverend is, has got his Bible out and he's, uh, he's now starting to read a passage and I'd like to go around and get a description of everybody, what we see 
as each character is is here in this moment. And uh, I guess we'll just keep uh, keep going same order. No. Oh. Um, so, Pope, when we uh, when we come to see Doctor Hazard, what do we see as we zoom in on him? Uh, Dr. Hazard is quickly fiddling about with, uh, his camera on a tripod, trying to line up a shot of the hanging, um, and is just checking for windage, making sure his light's right, it, completely ignoring the proceedings except for trying to line up that shot. Hmm. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. It's very good. You've got it set up. You think you've got it about, about where you need it. Um, I feel as though I feel compelled to ask you for a uh, for a role involving photography. I, I will do that in a moment. Um, as we're uh, we're going through that, so 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 prepare to make an academics role. Uh, but uh, next, uh, we'll go over to Dot Sister uh, Sister Ruth. What uh, when the camera moves over to yeah. her? What do we see? I think uh, Sister Ruth is probably near uh, the reverend. Um, they probably don't share similar outlooks in terms of their religious faith, but she's still there. And she has her eyes closed in full on uh, nun's robe. They seem worn, not clean as if she works inside, currently works inside of any one facility. Um, and uh, they've been altered in certain ways. You can tell she actually wears pants underneath. She does ride a horse pretty regularly. Uh, you see uh, that brown chestnut uh, off in the background holding all of her many things. And uh, she holds her rosary beads in her hand, um, the book open, the good book open, um, and she's in prayer, uh, praying for this lost soul, uh, possibly also praying that he stays dead. It's, uh, so such things are possible, definitely. So it's uh, it's important to uh, <clears throat> important to get one's bases covered. It's very yep, good. right. Um, she's probably forty, give or take. The road has been harsh on uh, both a woman as well as a sister. Stephen, when we uh, move over to Elijah, what do we see? Elijah has a very cold look in his eye. He eyes him. He wants him to see him as he's on that horse. He wants to take a long stare at him. Like, this is what you have brought. This is what you get. And this is what happens. He feels a wound. Kind of like his chest. And he, he has a little flask. And he takes a little drink. And he winks at him. He says, on to the next for you. He just kind of looks uh, looks over in your direction. He just shakes his head. Sort of wide-eyed grin on his face. Yeah, yeah he, there would be like a little smirk. And he would just say, adios. Heading over, the camera will pan again. And we will see Elijah's sister, Val, Valentine. What do we see? Val is uh, tall and curvy, olive skinned, uh, long kind of dark tresses and bright green eyes. Has her hat kind of pulled low over her head as she's standing up next to a fence by Willie. And she she looks uncomfortable or maybe even like looking down her nose uh, but every, anytime that uh, Eli's eyes go to her she'll look away briefly and uh, at one point she's just kind of digging her heel into the dust uh, she says to Willie without looking at him that's uh that ain't a right way to go. Oh, and we move right over to Willie to respond. What do we see? Willie <clears throat> Willie's a a thin man. He's about six feet. The decision to wear all black probably makes him look even thinner. 
He has a scar predominant down his face. He always walks with his hat down, shading both the sun from the sky from his eyes and his features from those that walk the streets and the world beside him. But as this would occur and as he would be against the fence waiting for Eli to pass by, he would kind of motion his head a bit over to Val. Ain't nothing for you to be uh, worried about. You ain't swinging today. So I won't worry about it for today, I guess. Not today. And as soon as Eli would get close, he'd step forward, not to intercept or stop the proceedings, but to get a word and see if the deputy would slow as he approached. Well, yeah, the deputy is basically, uh, has got the rope around uh, Eli's neck, um, but is, you know, is standing uh, in, in the position, sort of a little bit behind the horse, preparing to, uh, to, to, when ordered, administer the necessary amount of force to cause the horse to propel itself forward. But he will, uh, he'll nod as you, as you step up. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you chat with him. Willie would step forward and he would take a draw off the cigarette and he'd hand it up to Eli. Like, to put it in his mouth. Yeah. And he, uh, he'll, he'll like me. Yeah. My hands are a bit tied at the moment. <laughs> I see that. Now I'm trying to give it up. I don't think it's good for me. He'd just leave it dangle from his lips as he went ahead and started rolling another. Yeah. Ain't gonna be a good day for you, Eli. You're the one told him, didn't you? It was you, wasn't it? Everyone gets told on at some point. <laughs> I'm actually kind of proud. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that because um, I figure, you know, with the inevitable swing and snap, mere moments from this uh, beautiful day we have, I thought maybe you'd um, let me know about that little trick you have. Which one? One that keeps death away, Eli. I know you didn't use it today. Well, day's still young, but uh, <laughs> I know as I got time to teach you the whole thing. Just get me started. Give me the once upon a time. I can get you on the path. At least you'll get the right, the atten get you the attention from the right folks, but... Uh, you sure you want to do it? Because this ain't a bell you can unring. My friend, if it's a bell, I've already sent it every, sounded every church from here to Kansas City and back again. Well, that I can believe. Can we stop this interaction? You can say whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, get this man going. He kind of looks at Willie like, Listen, listen, lie. He's he's gonna be flying with the angels or getting poked in the ass by the devil. All that's inevitable. I just have a, a bit of a send off and kill I, this man right now. I think Eli's got a gift for me. Trust me, ain't nothing this man gonna give you a gift. So Eli is going to lean forward and he will whisper to you. Yeah, you can you see still got that fire in Elijah's eyes almost. <laughs> you still got that deck of cards I gave you? Yeah. You want to play? You out a hand right quick and I can see about putting you on that path. He's going to do it. Yeah. Everybody, hold on. Hold tight for a second. Sun's still Not high. good for me. Uh, if, Elijah, if Elijah tries to step up, Val will get in his way just lee lie just give me a second man just 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 give me a moment he, i mean like fire is in elijah's eye Val, what are you doing you don't even know what you're dealing with right here 
while everyone is being preoccupied and Hazard is acting a fool, he is going to slip his hand onto his colt. Oh, no. I thought you were going to take a picture. <laughs> no, real quick. And then as he puts his head under the hood, just slowly draw the gun. <laughs> So, I'm going to roll something real quick. I was about to say, I'd like to know if I see that gun being drawn. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, go ahead and uh, then, well, then, before I roll anything, uh, Pope, that... this would be fall under stealth, and uh, Dot, this would fall under notice, so this would be a contested okay. roll. All right, so D6. Let's see who gets more. <laughs> okay, so Pope did just get one higher mm -hmm. on the wild die, so... You just, it's its like, there, there's a motion and you think, okay, it could be the camera or it could be something else, but you don't see what it is. I'm also probably trying to keep up the facade like I'm praying, so I can't see yeah. everything, like a peripheral view of him like moving. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Uh, Willie, do you, uh, do you pull, do you draw a hand for him? Hell yeah, yeah, real quick like. I'm, I'm going to make a roll real quick. Um, he kind of sort of looks down as though for you to show him the cards. But, Can Eliza uh, slap the horse? <laughs> well, you'll have to uh, you'll, you'll have to get up uh, get up the hill around he's to where the deputy for the is. Horse to slap it to just well, knock. He's not on he, the horse yet. Well, yeah, well, the, uh, well, oh, he, he is. is? On the horse. Yeah, he's he, on yeah. the horse. They said Eli on the is horse. on is on the horse. He is on the horse. Um, Playing cards, Eliza is going to slap that horse. The deputy is going to the the deputy is going to. He's like you're playing with fire, Willie. I'm telling you. I'm gonna push his ass out of the way before he can do that. Yes. Okay. Well then, uh, we are. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead then. And uh, you want to fight me up close? That's Damn your fear. Why you before we before we go to full combat here? Let's uh, <laughs> if you want to if you want to give it a shot here. Let's just make opposed agility rolls to see. I where love we, uh, that. Here we go with this. I mean, it's probably fine. Oh shit! Damn it! Okay. He just but now now here's the way. So Elijah is going to get up there. As you, now the deputy is going to be standing there. I'm a U.S. Marshal. And he's get out say, of my way. He's got. He's got to get his last words in. That's the. That's the law. He he grabs her. You a damn fool. Are you grabbing no, me? Sir? I'm grabbing. No, no he's grabbing no, the. No, 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 no. He, he's, he's grabbing deputy Callum. Grab no, no, he just pushes <laughs> past Val. Yeah. She is not. She is not. Yeah. yeah he just wants. He's. He's more interested in getting this thing over with right my now. My turn. Mm. Sit there, Ruth Ramis steps up, and I'm going to put myself between all of this. <laughs> and I, I, I put a very gentle hand on Elijah's chest, and I say, listen to yourself. If that was a noose around your neck, you want last words. He's last time I checked, respect of a U.S. Marshal is important. You're making a scene. Sister, sister, words come out of his gullet. That's his last words to me. You, but this ain't about you. It's about him. Elijah would look over and he he he, he respects the sister and he, because he's a God-fearing man. She says, now if you want to slap And he looks behind, at Willie, mm -hmm. what are you up to? Well, shortly before this happens, uh, enough time has passed that I'm going to make a roll real mm -hmm. quick. Uh huh. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Let me see if that actually came through. Yes, it did. Okay, excellent. Okay. Um, so, Willie, you feel this this tension in the air for for just a split second, and the wind picks up. There's and there's a lot of dust around, and it's starting to, to drift through the uh, it's starting to drift through the, the graveyard. Um, and you just sort of feel this buzzing as though there's sort of in the sort of in the like the back of your head. Mm -hmm. And it's like somebody is looking directly at you, but you can't see them. It's kind of the feeling that you quite suddenly get when this goes off. Yeah, there you go. Much obliged, Eli. The sister removes her hand from Eli's chest and she goes, now, 
If you'd like to publicly slap the rumpus of that there horse, help yourself. <laughs> Yeah. If you all would just get clear so I can get a good picture. Well, it, well Elijah would look take a long hard look at Ruth. Sister. He kind of like he, he just glanced at her real long. She probably glanced his butt back man without blinking. And he slaps that horse. This man That's what dies. I mean she said In she the, stepped uh, away oh, to yeah, let yeah, you yeah, do it. Man, you know, in the moments leading up to this, <laughs> yeah. um, you've been you've been able to hear the uh, the the Reverend has been getting to uh, sort of the, the point where he's transitioning. He's still reading uh, right now because Who? this is you know is it it's not actually it's not a thing that takes that long, but it's a thing where we're getting there. Uh, where he's been is uh, is is about to hop over to the last thing. He was saying. Uh, now I say this, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have an incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? And I think that's about when you manage to hit the, uh, the horse. Um, I'm going to, since, since it kind of is, uh, it, it, it's, it's kind of clear that you're, uh, Breaking the proceedings be, uh, because they they actually there was like a there was like a public statement still before that <laughs> this was supposed to happen. Uh, there is a little bit of like uh, you know a little bit among uh, the sheriff actually I is sort of on the fence it seems as to whether or not you know that's that's fine. But uh, well, Jim, how about we? I'm can gonna we, ask you to make a. I was hmm? gonna say, can we try this? I mean, let me. Willie would you know tip his oh, hat yeah. to Eli, and then he's gonna move back and he's not gonna intercede himself between Elijah or lie as he calls him but he's going to walk up to him like shoulder left lead to uh, his left shoulder and just he's going to swing man just let it happen let these people do their stuff it's alright man he's going to swing who do you say this to? I say this to Elijah hmm He's going to swing, man. Let him do it. Good riddance. Good riddance to him. And he takes a drink. <laughs> the horse has already gotten a little bit nervous and kind of reared up a little bit. And the, uh, at, uh, at, at, at the approach and getting, getting, getting hit once already. And the deputy is like trying to control and it just barely manages to get it sort of down where it's, where, 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 where it's, uh, where it's calm for a second. And the deputy is like, that ain't where you hit. Never mind. Uh, the uh, the sheriff looks, just steps forward at this point, um, as the uh, as the the preacher is finally getting to the end of he, he's he segued into Psalm twenty three, uh, and he's finally getting to the end bit, where I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever, and the sheriff just says that. Thank you. That's 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 enough, Reverend. Let's let's do this. Eli Watts, you've been found guilty of multiple counts of theft and murder. You are sentenced to hang by the neck until dead. And I'm going to regret saying this, but do you have any last words before the sentence is carried out? And uh, Eli is just looking at all this. He's like, <laughs> Psalm 23. Nice sentiment, Bane's very respectable. Too bad these here don't know you like I do. My friends in low places have told me all kinds of things about you since last we met, Bane's. You killed three times as many people as I did. Make me look like a rank amateur. Bane's just sort of looks up. He just says, just looks dead at him. He says, it was a war. Call it what you like. Is it true you got hold? Is it true you got hold of Santa Anna's leg one time? I sure would have liked to see that. 
Uh, it's great to have an excuse, ain't it? An excuse to kill. Cause people like you and me, Baines, we got that understanding deep down. We know who we really work for. It ain't God. It ain't some self-styled cult healer. It's death. Death calls and we all obey. Hell, you're doing it right now, all of you. Can't wait to. <laughs> some of you don't cotton to it, the idea you're working for death, but some of you do, whether you'll admit it to yourself or not. My friends, <laughs> they've told me things about all of you. <laughs> you know death real well, don't you, Marshall? <laughs> not half as well as she does, he says, looking at Val. It's the kind of thing you can see in a person's eyes. That call to serve death. He turns his head again. You got it, sister? Yeah, maybe you do. Not sure if you do, Doc. Your faint ain't your own. You don't, Willie, which just makes your situation all the more ironic. Sheriff, I reckon you don't serve death so much as you serve yourself. And Judge Clark, <laughs> oh, Judge Clark, you definitely serve your urge to kill. Hell, you and the Reverend here are two of death's favorites. But you all are fooling yourselves. Against death, there is no victory. How much good or evil you've done is meaningless when your time comes. Folks think it's like an accountant book. Do so many good deeds and you get a pass for thinking evil thoughts. Do enough good and you can even justify killing. We all make hell's bargain. We're all caught up in it. Some of us just go into it knowing who we're bargaining with. I bet you all think you're doing a lot of good today. <laughs> I relish the thought of the depths of evil you'll reach as a result. <laughs> and the sheriff at this point said, we've heard enough from you, Watts. And he looks to Deputy Callan, just do it already. Sure you don't want to let me go, last chance. Callan goes and stay, finally is just like, ah, thank God, and he smacks the horse. At this point, uh, by the way, uh, 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 Dr. Hazard, are you taking a photo? Can't hear you. I'm going to wait till the horse is clear. Okay. So there is an unfortunate thing that the dust that's coming up is now making it very hard, kind of hard to see. Uh, there's so much of it now, uh, especially once the horse gets going. Uh, so the horse starts... <laughs> Starts off, you can see that you're seeing silhouettes right now more than anything else. Um, as the horse is is running out of the uh, out of the graveyard, you definitely hear a snap. And that's when the flash bulb goes off. All right, I need you to make an uh, academics roll for me, please. Okay, not great. Uh, this is the point where I should probably have uh, given you out your fate chips. Let's do that. <laughs> Let me give you your fate chips. Everyone gets three unless you have something that gives you less than three. Uh, do remind me if that is the case for you. That is me, sir. All right. You go ahead and give those out. And... Yeah, what you're uh, what you're basically seeing here, and so my the, the upshot of this is, uh, Pope, did you want to uh, spend a fate chip on this to get a better shot, or do you want to leave it where it lies? This isn't the shot I'm going to spend the fate chip on. All right. Now, if that snapping doesn't end in swinging. I'll spend the fate chip on the other shot. Gotcha. So, yes, there is a uh, there is a certain amount of swinging that looks like it's going on. You're seeing the silhouette of a man swinging at least through all this dust, which is getting into everyone's lungs, especially if they're close. And uh, as the swinging half is is continuing. Everyone just sort of hears this echoing through the graveyard. Um, 
this this just sort of this low whistle uh, at this point and the uh you know the deputy is standing off away from the cloud coughing and then is looking and is running after the horse to make sure it doesn't go too far um he runs out of the graveyard chasing the horse but then you then as this sort of low whistle is coming through you hear as, as there's sort of, for a moment, it almost obscures everything, and then you start to be able to see again all this, from all this dust, and you hear... <laughs> echoing, this echoing applause. And you all hear a voice as you watch this, what's definitely a body, swinging back and forth. You hear, echoing, So, you think a length of rope will solve all your problems? Well, it made for a heck of a show, but now we're going to see how many of you are ready to make Hell's Bargain. <laughs> Before we get down to business, though, I got two last part and pearls of wisdom for you. First, when you hang a man, you better look at him like really look. <laughs> and as the dust clears, you see it appears as though swinging at the end of this rope, is Deputy Cowan. Second, who in their right mind tries to end the likes of me in a graveyard? <laughs> Get up, everyone. Time to stop napping and meet your new friends. And as the dust is clearing, the grave dirt around you starts is rumbling. You can now see the things are clawing their way up out of the graves. As it appears that the dead are coming to say hello. Uh, from the shoulder lead where he's touched up against Elijah, he'd look over and meet who he calls Lie. Lie, I might owe you an apology. You're damn right you do, Willie. And he fucking gets ready to fight. I knew it. I'm uh, going to... <laughs> I'd like to make that shot now. Oh, I need first. <laughs> first off, I, I need everyone to make a. Uh, oh. I need everyone to make uh, what they we colloquially refer to as a guts check. It is a uh, spirit roll. Oh, yes, bring on the spirit, is baby. <laughs> um, is does this qualify? Uh, just a flat spirit, no faith or anything like that. This is a fear check. Uh, Got it. So it's, yeah, it's just your uh, oh. it's your spirit roll. But if you have any bonuses to fear checks, now is the time to to make uh, them. Actually, I think you get to add your rank to it. So I think you're all getting a plus two here. Oh, I get an additional thank plus God. one. God. Excellent. Five. So, make sure you factor that in. Ten. Total is uh, eight. Five. Five for me too. Total ten for Ruth. Total is four. And I need to know now if I need to use a fate chip. <laughs> or is just enough. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, Thank bodies you, of the dead clawing their way up out of their uh, out of their graves. Oh, let me give myself some fate chips as well. I might need oh, those. Damn. I get five fate chips because there are five players. And uh, so what we're going to do here... We got that there. Uh, we shall go around. You see that there's something like maybe there's more than half a dozen of them, possibly up to a dozen, as the uh, as the dust is starting to clear, coming in from out, out from all of these graves that surround you. And they're going to be heading toward you. Let's deal out the cards. Again, folks, remind me if you have anything that. Uh, gives you anything special. I'm going to go across the board, uh, the little board that we have here, um, across the top. Two. Why do you always draw me twos? Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand it. Do you have any, uh, do you have any edges that uh, mitigate that at this point or no? No, sir. All right. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. Um, I remember that Greg does, but I, I, I haven't. I uh, why can't I see anything. you? Why can't I see your draws coming through here? Hmm. I have a, um, well, are you on the, did I put you, everyone, I should put everyone on the page where the draws are coming out. Can everyone see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I can see them. Uh, go to the, uh, oh yes, you need to go there, to I the- re uh, I had to refresh it. I'm good, I'm good. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so Greg, as I recall, you get, uh- I get you two- get, I get draw anything that's less than a, uh- I get two- that's, Right, I get two cards at first for level-headed. 
and then I pick which one I need to redraw if I need to redraw. Okay, which of those fours would you like to redraw? I would recommend the club. I'll do the, I'll do the club. <laughs> All right, we'll redo the club. All right. <laughs> Damn. There we go. That would be a nine. Nicely done. There you go. Put that there. And the walking dead are going on a three. So not gonna not gonna take them uh, you know it's gonna take them a little while. They're kind of slow so, to, to everybody get up to you. So let's go around, shall we? Uh, we are starting with uh, the nine of spades. So Willie, you are first. What would you like to do? Okay, um, uh, how far did the death horse get? Because I know that the deputy was going to get the death horse and then he ended up at the end of the rope. Um, the death horse that was underneath Eli, is it still within like snare and distance? No, no, no. It uh, it took way the hell off. Oh, um, actually, cold. though, I will ask you to make a notice roll for me, please. Oh, that's my speciality. <laughs> Three. You're not sure. Um, it, uh, it it's pretty dusty. You think you hear it. Um, but, uh, you think it, you hear it, basically it's, uh, if it's the same horse, it's heading, uh, it's, it seems to be heading out of town. All right. All right. Um, so as these things are climbing up, the, the only enemies we see about us are these, these creatures, correct? There's coming up that out of the That is correct. Okay. Uh, one of, there is one other tiny detail I need to provide you folks. Um, the way that allies work in Savage Worlds, you have uh, three allies with you right now. Um, you actually get to control their actions during combat. Um, so I'm going to uh, give everyone, uh, I'm going to share with everyone these uh, these three character sheets. Okay. Uh, that are coming up. Oh, yes. That, uh, the Reverend. We're going to need to probably click off of. My apologies there. Oh, I'm doing this real fast. Um, I'll take share. And uh, so, you will take when it is your turn. <laughs> so well, I just want to ask who wants to who wants who wants Reverend Baines, who wants Judge Clark, and who wants Sheriff Bailey? I want the sheriff. Okay. I want the Reverend. That's Val have it. <laughs> uh, make sure I can't see his character sheet if it means anything. Uh, everyone should be able to to see them now. They they in under the uh, there's an NPC folder. Yeah, they're Pope. just empty. Pope can take Judge if he wants it or Jeech. I think it. we have to be able to either control it or see it. That may be a okay. edit setting, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and do that then. I will make, I shall give you editing powers so that this may work. Yay, roll 20. There we go. Uh, All right. I am daunted enough with my rolling. Somebody else can take one of these NPCs. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll take the, I'll take the Reverend. Okay, can you, can you folks yep, all get that's it? that's it, Jim. Yep, you all got right. it. Excellent. Okay. So just remember who it is that you're you're also controlling. They go on your card. They go after you. Okay. So now my apologies. Back to uh, back to the, uh, the the nine of spades. What you doing? Okay. Um. So Willie would take a glance around. He would see or hear the horse running off to wherever. He'd look around. He'd see Val. He'd look around. He'd see Ly. He'd even look around and see the sister. And he. And then he'd look and see his pen pal behind the camera with the top hat, and he's going to open up on anything that's around the dock. So he pulls out both of his uh, cold armies, and for a moment he thinks about going in, and then he flips one, the lighter color to the two, it's a, a silver, and he puts it back in the holster, and holds down the trigger as he fans the hammer around anything that's near uh, Pope. He's going to try to clear out anything around Pope. Yeah. I'd say, I, I dare say that uh, Dr. Hazard is probably the furthest removed, one of the furthest removed right. from the uh, the gallows and therefore closest to the graves uh, because he was getting, a, he was trying to get a good shot. Um, so yeah, the, there are definitely uh, a few that are creeping up on him. Uh, you see like yeah, there, there are like three of them that are kind of <laughs> uh, clambering their way forward. Um, so you want to open up on them? Right, and with my fan the hammer, I get what, negative two to each shot, right? Is that yes, how? Yes, I believe that's right. I, I think that's how we worked the, the math out, that it's uh, with what you uh, 
with what you have you have let me let me check your it's negative two your, and then if it's advanced negative. it's negative it's zero it, it it i think it was negative four and negative two let me just make sure i think he has um, something that offsets that yeah let me just make sure as we're looking at this uh because it was um Bom, 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 bom. Where are they? Where is everyone? They're in that folder. There it is. Wait, I've got it here. Uh, I got. I mean, yeah. So just as we're. Just like, yeah. Oh, it, yeah, you're, you're right. Anna. It's a negative four. It's a negative four. Yeah. I was thinking about it's the advanced a, one we were talking about. Yeah, the advanced one is negative two. Okay. Um, so, in, yeah. the, in that case, he's going to pull both of the guns out and he's going to take a shot, uh, two shots using uh, two fisted. At the two that are closest to, well, let's go one first, and he's gonna take a mm -hmm. shooting shot at uh, one of these. Nine. Excellent. Okay, that's definitely going to hit with a raise. Um, do you want to go ahead and, uh, and and do your damage? Twelve. All right. Yes. So, you basically you uh, you aim very carefully. <laughs> um, these things uh, these things are un uh, let's see these things are undead, so it is a. Uh, it is a but I mean twelve, dear lord. Um, yeah, so you, what you what you manage there? Yeah, the closing whatever cover me. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, so you manage to to uh, to squeeze off a shot, gets it right between the eyes, and the thing falls down uh, as it's uh, as it's coming up. So you've already eliminated one from the field here. He would pull his other gun out of his uh, cross grip rig, and he cocks it again, and he aims just over the shoulder of the dock and fires again. All right. Six. Six. That is enough to hit. 10. 10. All right. So it's uh, and its toughness is seven. So you, uh, it's shaken uh, right now. So what happens is it sort of comes up, you sort of get it, it pauses. It's kind of looks down at its chest where you've just, you've, you've just blown a hole in and looks up at you quizzically and continues <laughs> shuffling uh, in your direction. Hmm. Um, and uh, so that being uh, that, that being your turn, unless you'd like to move or something else, I think we're- uh, Willie's gonna there. stay where he is to keep some space between him and the zombies, undead, but he is gonna yell to the doc, doc, the day is young, it is time to go. I just stole the wrong person's card. <laughs> I think you had the, uh, yeah, there we go. I think that was correct. Um, yes, awesome. So we're down to the uh, down to the nine of diamonds. That's Val, what would you like to do? Val's had a weird smile on her face ever since uh, Eli's voice came through the dust. Just uh, like, kind of like respects what just happened and is, happy that a man with so much life or unlife uh, is going to manage to find a better way to die. Um, but when she hears Willie start shooting, she knows it's time to act. So um, she turns to the sheriff and bats her eyes at him. That looks like a big gun. Oh, it was big enough, dear gun. Actually, yeah, I need to make uh, I need to make uh, uh, the the I need to make rolls for them. Yeah, go ahead, make it. Uh, so yeah, roll he's his uh, spirit. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's great. He's fine. So yeah, that's how he reacts. He's like, oh, it was big enough, ma'am. <laughs> I imagine it's my eyes that steal his spirit. <laughs> wow. Um, well, why don't you back me up? And I'm gonna take off sprinting, pull out my Bowie knife, and the one that Willie just shot is gonna get kind of a run and jump. <laughs> Excellent. So you're running, <laughs> leaping forward, yeah, yeah. charging at this thing. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll say that you actually, uh, if yeah, if you've got enough distance here, so yeah, you'll make, uh, I'm going to give you a, a plus two for charging at the thing oh. um, to your fighting role here. Awesome, and I get to make two because I have Frenzy. Yeah, this is for the initial fighting roll. That's Great, the only gotcha. one you get the bonus. Okay, Yay. so first one you got a ten, which, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's definitely uh, uh, going to uh, going to hit. Let me actually uh, 
put his put this uh, this thing's parry in front of me. Yeah, that uh, hits with a raise. The, the, awesome. the pen there. Um, so that's oof, bad damage. Uh, uh, that's yeah, next six round. total on okay. the first. Okay. And he's already shaken. Yes, he is. So yeah, sorry, just uh, hovering around things here, making sure <laughs> I got it. All right, good. Um, yeah, so that's six. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not quite enough. Oh, good. Almost. Uh, to, to hit its toughness, but so you 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 drive the knife in into its shoulder, and it just sort of looks yeah. like. And then I'm gonna pull it out and shank him in the face. Excellent face shankery. Oh, <laughs> um, all right. Well, yeah. Let's, let's go ahead Six. And see. Okay. Um, that will hit. Uh, it's a it's a parry is only five. And four damage. Okay. Not and still not quite enough. Okay. As you're trying to. Uh, you're trying to get at it. It's like it's uh, starting to get a little agitated. Um, sure, sure. Uh, and then my friend is gonna shoot him. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, pistol, rifle, shotgun. Uh, I think uh, uh, I think I said that he had a rifle, so that's the one that we're uh, great. We got. So he's a little ways it. back and using the rifle. Five. 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 That'll hit. Oh, sorry. That was the damage. Sorry, it didn't that was roll the, his yeah, attack. So let's go ahead and roll, uh, his, uh, shoot. roll his shooting. Yeah. Oh, Three. No. Unfortunately, that does go wide. Okay. Um, as he's trying to hit the thing, he's like tarnation. As he's trying to get this thing going. Um, so that is. Uh, so that was uh, was your turn. Mm -hmm. And we are now down to seven, which I believe was Erasmus. If I uh, if I replaced that card correctly. <laughs> what you doing, sir? Um. I'm going to take aim. I'm using the tripod and camera of the brace, and I'm going to try and shoot the deputy free of being hung. Interesting. Okay. So this is a very specific called shot. Uh, I'm going to call this, this would be a minus six to be able to hit that rope as it's, uh, as yeah. it's just dangling there. I'm going to spend Unless you want one. to hit the branch. The branch would be like more like a, a Four, minus four. Sure, we'll hit the branch, and I'm going to uh, spend that red chip. All right, well, go ahead and roll first, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see if you need it. All right. So, aiming. Remind me. Well, now aiming will take an action. It'll if you if you yeah, want to. Yeah, it's one by two. Do it. So I'll do plus two with. So it's my shooting, which ain't great. Plus two. So let's see. So that'll be a six. Okay, so six. Um, is that with the? Uh, That's with a plus two for aiming. Plus two for aiming. Minus four is a two. Um, so you would uh, you definitely need to roll roll that d six. Uh, roll d six to be able to to hit it. You're just gonna need a two or or better on it. Okay, so that is definitely enough. Thank you for your contribution. I will take that uh, that red chip away, and I shall draw a chip because you just used a red chip. Yep. Hey, look at that. Okay. So, um, yeah. Nine damage yeah. on that. Nine damage on the on the branch. I'm going to say that the branch is just just thin enough that you're able to do it. You're able to to hit it, and it cracks, and it goes, and the deputy's body falls to the ground. <laughs> For you did hear an X snap. Oh. It wasn't quite whose you thought it was. Well, tried my best. But you did get him down. And that definitely, I'm going to actually give you a, another chip for that. Uh, because that was very kind of you uh, to try to do. Um, and now it's just an extra body on the field. Now it's just an extra body on the field, uh, which has begun twitching. Uh, so next, <laughs> let's uh, let's move over to Sister Ruth. What you doing? Okay. Um. So uh, the sister immediately when she sees all this go goes down. This is this is part of her worst nightmare. Just these creatures and in themselves. Um, it's why she does what she does. Um. And you see that her altered robes. She like slings them back, and at her side hangs a shotgun. And she slings it forward, takes the situation in, looks for the, the, um, she looks for the reverend, Milton, um, her horse, 
um, which is nearby. How quick could I make it to my horse? That's actually a good question. I'm kind of going to think that the horses, for the most part, to that you could get like one or two in uh, right. at most, and you sort of, so it's like you had the one that was there, and it needed a clear path to you know, sort of to get out. But we're um, like so up probably on the pretty hill. close to yeah, you're up oh, on the okay. hill. It's probably close to the entrance. That's what I thought. We'd um, have to go down through the graveyard. Yeah. Okay, there are fine. dead people between you and the entrance. Okay, so uh, she she simply draws that shotgun. Uh, you see her like pump it. Um, or I guess she would actually break it, um, break action. And then she would, um, she would repeat some scripture. Now's the time, right? Um, and she, she, she aims and finds, I guess the nearest one. Are there civilians up here? Um, no, nope, this a very it, private funeral. Just you folks. This was basically, there are not many people in this town. Great. Um, she would care about the civilians. Okay. Then she pumps it. She finds the nearest one. Um, and she's going to start down the hill towards the horses uh firing at anything that attacks her and she'll repeat some scripture and she says do not be over oh i'm sorry that's a british accent <laughs> uh she says um uh what does she say what's a good one I'm trying to remember all my scripture from my childhood um do not be overcome by uh by evil but overcome evil with good and she plast a, a shot into the face of one of these uh nearby zombies um so she okay. use... So my first question before you do this is are you mostly just trying to lay down suppressive fire here basically to keep them away or are you actually trying to hit one specifically? Um, I, I, the question is are they, how many are nearby? Um, between you and the, uh, so let's see, the Reverend was pretty close to uh, where the, uh, to the tree. Um, so I'm gonna say they're probably like between you and the, and the exit, they're probably like about four. Okay, I want to be able to hit one pretty close. I mean, I, I do have a long range weapon, but it hangs up my horse. So I don't have my rifle on me, all I have is a shotgun. So I would need to get relatively close and the goal is to clear a path. We need to get the F out of here. There are far too many bodies and far too few of us. Okay, yeah, um, basically, yeah. So if you, want, if you want to hit one, then it's just straight uh, regular shooting. If you want to lay down suppressive fire to distract a bunch of them, then that's a slightly different maneuver. Yeah, no, no, she's definitely trying to just fire and knock them down. Uh, so she'll right. aim at the head of one of them. Uh, let's see, shooting, I don't think I get anything to this, but I do, oh, I'm in on the reverence, that's not helpful. Okay, yeah, uh, so she'll take her first shot um, at a nine. All right, um, that will definitely hit with a raise. Uh, so you're gonna get your bonus damage on it. Great. Um, so go ahead and do your damage. Let's do that damage with that shotgun. Rolling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you get it in the head. <laughs> and it, great, it, perfect. Uh, immediately, it's like it sort of turns. It's it sort of turns, and then it just sort of <laughs> comes right through, and it's like <sighs> awesome. Falls uh, over backwards. And uh, so you have you have uh, have at least cleared the way so that you can make. You've got a pretty straight shot to the uh, to the exit. Um, the the other three are not going to probably reach you in time if you want to get there. If I wanted to get out, what about the rest of them? Everybody else. Get everyone the else. Well, they're they're the, they haven't said they're leaving yet, so it's up to. No, them. no, no. I guess I mean in terms of of range. Like, uh, are the zombies between them and the exit? Because I'll clear them all if it means an exit. Oh yeah, there there are three more. Okay. Uh, um, well, that's Ruth's turn. Uh, she'll take that in. Um, and she probably at the end of her turn like yells out to all of them, um, we gotta get out of here. And she like yells it above the like ruckus of bodies coming out of the ground and stuff. Um, as she, I guess we go over to the Reverend. Okay. And what's he do? What does he do? I imagine he's probably going to shoot as well. Well, he uh, now here's the deal. The Reverend can shoot, but he does not have a gun. He doesn't. Uh, unless someone wants to give him one. Uh, he, uh, he has a stick. He does have a stick. Here's a question. You said he's up on the hill with the body that's been shot down. Uh, yeah, he's up there. Does he have a gun? Did he have a gun on him when he? Oh, the. Uh... What is ca... the deputy? The deputy. The deputy. There you go. Yeah. The deputy did have a gun. Yes. Can he get to the deputy's gun? Yes, he, he should be able to get it to get up there and grab it. I imagine there would be a smidge of panic, and he would go for a much yeah, he's... more dire weapon. <laughs> stick there is a brief moment you see him there's a look of indecision on his face when he's like and a look of pain in his eyes as he's considering it but he does it he will uh he, he dives for the deputy's gun yeah he dives for and it. yeah more expertly than it's you would think from uh, yeah. uh from a reverend i was about to say he probably uh he has a history i can tell 
He got a history. All right, he rolled a six. All right, so he comes up, shoots, gets a six on one of the, and uh, you say he's aiming at the ones again between uh, you, you folks in the exit, or I think at, he's uh, probably aiming at anything. He's a anything nearby. A, yeah, there's anything several, he's nearby. at the epicenter here. So yeah, he's there at are the center. Of... He's just he's just picking one and firing okay. to stay alive. I imagine. Well, that is a hit. So go ahead and uh, roll damage. Right. Uh, roll um, roll gun damage. Now uh, what? I got a. You know what? I have a revolver. I have a revolver. Yeah, if you have a if you have a revolver on your sheet, then you go ahead and use that damage there. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, no. Well, the deputy had good taste, so he has a cult maybe. He fires. Okay, excellent. Uh, so <laughs> okay. that is, uh, yeah, so that again, that's, let's see. All right, that's going to be enough to shake one of these undead mm -hmm. that are coming up. So there's one that's now near the tree, the one that's closest to the tree. And it basically reaches up, fires, and it's like uh, sort of now looking and continuing to shuffle right. forward. And so that is your turn. We're gonna we lose are the now down over to it's it's the it's the turn of the dead folk. So there are, by my reckoning, we have taken out how many? Two, <laughs> two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one's, one's on its last legs. Yeah. So yes. Let me true. go ahead and uh, two and a half. Let me oh, go ahead yeah. and and uh, roll recover. See if these uh, two that are trying to recover manage to recover. Um, that, that are closest. Sucks so much. All why right. were we ever in a, why were we ever in a graveyard? How did Ruth let this happen? <laughs> no idea. All right. It's all your fault. It seemed all like right. a good idea at the time. <laughs> we just wanted I to see, no blame just, in Elijah matter. just wanted to see him hang. Spirit roll, that is a success on the like main die. you. All right, so one of them is no longer shaken. And then the one that's near the tree will also get uh, the ability to do that. Or attempt to get a spirit roll to unshake. He, he does not unshake. The the uh, the Reverend got it, got him good. So he's still like just sort of figuring himself out. Mm -hmm. um, so the one that, uh, I, I believe the one that was being uh, being worked on is, uh, is uh, right next to Val. So you know it. It's going to lunge forward with its claws and try to get at you. And so that's fighting. That would be an 11. What is your... Uh, I would like to deflect that. Ah. So that is the thing that you uh, you need to take an action to activate. Oh, OK. It has a not... duration. Oh, it's not just, oh, OK, I see. Kind of, I get you to, it. You have to be ready to do it. Kind okay. Of what we're, what we're Got saying. it. Got it. Um, uh, my toughness is, uh, no, my parry is seven. Okay. So that is going to hit you with a raise. And it's going to rake its claws. And that's a total of five. What's your toughness? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to click that. Six. Okay. Uh, it You just manage it. It, it just barely penetrates anything. Uh, and just uh, maybe just your clothes get raked a bit, uh, but you do not get hurt. Um, Great. Uh, I turn to the sheriff and I say, "Listen, I know some men have trouble controlling their weapons around me, but could you do slightly better job? Thank you." Sorry, ma'am. And this is another one starts to lunge at him. Uh, let's see how it does. Sorry, ma'am. So polite. <laughs> <laughs> in a life or death situation. Yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> he only survived by tipping his hat. He ducked just enough that the thing <laughs> just swung its claw past him. This is where manners count. That is, might make it. I'm quoting uh, that. Survived by tipping his hat. <laughs> survived only by tipping his hat. Only by tipping his uh, hat. So, uh, Ruth, one of these, uh, one of these uh, remaining three is going to come up in your direction as you're, uh, you're kind of heading... And there it's going to take a swipe at you. This will be very easy. Yeah. Oh, Bo, yeah, very much so. nine. What's that, your parry? That is a four. Four. Okay. That definitely hits with a raise. Um, question. What is a... Okay. I have this thing called Holy Warrior. Mm-hmm. The Chosen may add a plus one to the total of a final soak roll for each power point spent. Yes. I don't know that I understand when that. You are, uh, yes. When you are... Um, Holy Warrior, is that a... Uh, it's an edge. Okay, that, that's an edge. Okay, uh, so for every uh, every time you're trying to soak a wound, 
um, which uh, we may get a demonstration of in just a second. Great, perfect. Uh, That's why I called this, because I had a feeling that was coming. So this is a total of six damage. What's your toughness? Um, a six. OK. Um, that will just have you shaken. So you're not, and no wounds are caused. So Great. you don't actually have that uh, have that going on just yet. Um, but yeah, soak roll. Uh, anyone who actually gets a wound can immediately attempt to soak it, but you have to do it immediately. Okay. Uh, by spending a, by spending a chip. Oh, I see. And then okay, that's okay. That makes sense now. Yeah. That, and okay. that doesn't count for the normal uh, white, red, blue. That's just it. It just spins as like a Benny. That's a bit. Yeah. That's what, okay. That's what it's talking about when it says a Benny. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. So cool. you are shaken, and uh, that's that's as that one comes at you. Uh, we've got one. Uh, let's see. Willie's been trying to keep these uh, these off of uh, off of the dock, so you're going to have you're going to have a couple uh, trying to trying to get at you, and here then is the first one. <laughs> okay, that that one misses. It's an extra. Unfortunately, it can't roll roll snake eyes, so it's not a critical failure, uh, but it uh, it utterly misses you. The other one uh, gets a four. What's your uh, parry? My pe- my parry is a five. All right, it misses you as well. <laughs> Keep in mind, by the way, folks who are going to be shooting guns at uh, things that are standing right next to them, you have to hit their parry, and you can only do it with a short weapon. So, either a pistol or a sawed-off shotgun. Or or my Rupert Pepper box, dude. That I you, keep you have that yes, you have a, that's a short weapon. Yes. Oh, or my damn oh, boots. Shit. Or yeah, my yeah, damn right boots. in my boobies. Um, yeah. All right, excellent. And uh, then that, uh, and yeah, and then that's going to leave, it's going to leave a couple of them sort of charging at, uh, well, not really charging. They don't charge, they shamble. But heading toward, uh, heading toward Steve, heading toward uh, toward Elijah. Oh and, come on now, Jim, you're just resting at me. I'm looking way past that now, Jim. Oh, what's your? And I'm uh, looking at the. I Elijah takes aim with the Winchester. Oh, He's absolutely. Riding off in front of me you're getting attacked right now homies <laughs> are they on me oh yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're on they're, everybody they're, they're getting up to you they are on it's you. they're getting up to you where whereabouts i mean you were you were still pretty close to the uh to the tree weren't you yeah i'm gonna put the judge in front of me okay um so then they're actually trying to hit the judge um so <laughs> that's <laughs> a shield of justice what is, Marshall, what is the judge's, huh? that is judge the judge's hanging carry? judge he wants that see, he wants to see this mo- this oh, mf or ju- um, i'm gonna shoot over the judge who's What's riding the judge's away parry let's see <laughs> team. um let's see judge's parry is a four so that will hit hmm sucks to be him so let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and roll you go and go ahead and roll its claws. Outlaws are the only one with honor. Oh, that's not terribly good at all. <laughs> um, so let's see. The judge is a wild card. Um, so uh, I'm going to say that the judge is going to. Each wild card actually does get two bennies. Uh, so I'm going to say that the judge is going to uh, probably attempt to soak in a moment. Uh, let's see. What's its? Uh, do you have the? Do you have the judge there? What's? Can uh, I give him a fate check? Well, he he has two. Okay. He has two. Um, and uh, I got it, Jim. Is, what do you need me to roll? Yeah, I'm looking at. Uh, I'm I'm just looking I'll to see it. what his toughness is. He has a five. Mm-hmm. Um. So, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, I nine. Got him. Uh. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's gonna hit him with a a. That's gonna hit him with a wound. Um. So it's vigor that uh, the judge needs to roll. I get it. And let me actually. Yeah, move that over because that should have been correct there. Yeah. Um, yes. So that's a, that's a five. That's a success. That's all he needed. So the judge does manage to fend it off uh, as this is going on. <laughs> and uh, so let's see. Yeah, I'm going to say that is all of the uh, that's all of the the Walking Dead that are close enough to try to hit anyone right now. Um, so that's uh, that's about uh, that's about six of them. Uh, and uh, that was their turn. So Elijah. It's your turn. You have managed to keep any directly, uh, you know, that are not, there are none right next to you. Uh, what would you like to do? Elijah wants to look beyond these stupid shambling mounds. He wants to see who's riding away. He's going to shoot. I need you to make a notice roll, please. Uh, okay. Give me one second here. 
me get back to my character sheet. Okay. That is a seven. You can just barely make out right now. Somewhere it's like between there's, it looks like there is, uh, so there's a, the trading post is the major feature of this town. Uh, there's a big, there's a trading post sort of in the middle. And so off toward the end are more sort of uh, warehouses. This is mostly a, a spot that people just come to, to stop and then go immediately. It's not really, uh, there, there is a saloon at the edge of town. So it's gonna be between, there's a saloon and then there's a warehouse across the street. And so, so just between those, you can just barely see a figure on the back of that horse. Can I shoot that horse? You can definitely attempt to shoot that horse. Called shot. This is, this is, uh, this is going to be, it is at long range. Okay. Well, I got a telescopic sight that I mm -hmm. took and that takes a, how long? It's, it's very long range. It's just long. It's just long. You could still hit it. So I've got a negative two there, but I also have a marksman, which takes away that. Mm -hmm. And I also have a trademark weapon. So I, I, any penalties are done. Yeah, I think you're at a, then at a net of plus one, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm shooting that horse. And I'm going right. to shoot him right in the back. Shoot I'm the horse. I'm going to throw that some bitch. What happens? Okay. And with your bonuses, that's all you needed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you fire and you see the horse is like, ah, and you see it starting to tumble over. You think maybe it turned over, um, but you can't, it, it goes, it rolls out of sight. Yeah. Uh, behind the, behind the warehouse uh, when, uh, when you do that. So you definitely hit it. Um, don't know whether, uh, you know, how, uh, how badly you hit it, but you definitely hit that horse. Okay. Um, <laughs> The judge in front of me is going to fire upon who's ever in front of me in that sense. Okay. Um, I think he's got a, he's got a handgun, I think. Um, so he can do that. Uh, he's going to need to beat the parry of the thing in front of him since it's right next to him. Okay. Um, with this shot, which I think is a five. Okay. He, uh, the judge is like, these motherfuckers, they got to hang. Yeah. Absolutely. Shoot and roll. Fire. Okay. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Again, since he was right next to the Walking Dead, their parry is five. Um, so he he tries. He's just a little too close to be able to uh, to be able to hit it, and he's he is uh, he is upset. That is what he yells out uh, <laughs> because <laughs> that is uh, he, he he definitely there's red in his eyes right now. Um, yeah. He is upset. I need to actually yes. By the way. I need you to roll uh, roll these make uh, the judge's spirit for me because I need to see if uh, <laughs> whether or not he actually is uh, how shaken up he is by this whole thing. He's fine. Oh, he uh, feels good about <laughs> seeing in front of me. Another another group of dead folk. <laughs> and uh, also, um, uh, dot actually, if you would, because again, I forgot to call this out. If you wouldn't mind rolling, uh, since we're between turns here, real quick. Uh, if you wouldn't mind rolling uh, the spirit of the uh, of the reverend for me. Really. Oh, right. And he's handling this, this whole thing. You know, people. he's not as spiritual as I thought he was going to be, for the record. He has a D8 in shooting. I don't think he's that spiritual at all. Right? Yeah, not <laughs> quite. Oh, man. <laughs> Here I reverend am. Baines, however, did get enough that he's, uh, he's like, he's a little, uh, he's a little, uh, he's a little not shaken mechanically, but a little shaken visibly as he's like, doing this, but he's, uh, uh, but you can see he's still like focusing exactly on what he's doing. He, the, the muscle memory, it comes back. Clearly <laughs> that D8 and shooting. Year round. Okay. Oh, it's my favorite time of the day. Year shooting round, time? everybody. Or undead time. It's yeah. undead time. It's undead time. It's undead o'clock. Uh, there you go. Yes. Jim, okay. card you, ever you, drew you for me. the card dealer for me is just the worst. I know, I'm terrible. Okay, and uh, I presume, Willie, you want me? To, you want to redraw the two? Redraw the two, sir. Yes, sir. Thank God. Okay, would you like the king or the jack? I'll take that king. <laughs> All right, you got it. 
Okay. So diamonds go before clubs, correct, Jim? That, that, uh, yes, the, in, within the same rank. So, but the king of spades right now is the highest of the players. But let me draw for the zombies and see what they're. Oh, the walking Crap. dead. Zombies are a different thing. Queen of diamonds. Okay, so king of spades. Val, what would you like to do? Yes. Uh, I look down at my shirt that's now got just like the best placed claw mark it could possibly have. And I pout. I said, that's my favorite shirt. And I've already stabbed him once in the collarbone, once in the cheek. So I guess we're going to go under the chin this time. All right. Um, are you making a collar shot or are you just, are you just. No, stuck? it's just flavor. Understood. Go yeah. right ahead. I'm going to re-roll that. All right. Go ahead and you spend uh, one of your chips. Which Is one that... do you want to, I assume you want to spend a white one. Yeah. For the re-roll. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Oh, get my the word. fuck out. I'm sorry. You can keep spending if you like, but that's entirely I up will, to you. I will, because I'm annoyed. I'm also going to refresh roll 20 real quick. Right ho. Pardon. Put roll 20 in timeout. It is. All right. Roll okay. 20. Yeah, I'm going to spend another one because this is silly. Indeed. Go and spend oh, that I'm paranoid. There <laughs> oh, we that's go. much better. That's better. That's, <laughs> that's what it's better. supposed to be. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So that definitely is going to hit with a raise. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and do your damage. <laughs> oh, holy crap. You do get him under, right under the chin. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Right after you're done shaking, too. All right. So oh, that's God. definitely one down. Great. Um, um, where's the next nearest one? Is uh, one closer next nearest to? One, I think the next nearest one is probably the one that is, um, is let's see, if sort of in, you've got a choice. You can either, uh, yeah, I think you can probably. I it's one on one Willie. Either, yeah, it's, one, it's either the one on Willie or it's going to be the uh, one that's on your brother. That's the judge. All right, yeah, the judge, sorry, yes. I have two on me, don't I? Yeah. Well, he does oh, have to on him, yeah. That's rude. So I'm going to run up behind one and leap on it with my knife. Excellent. And Sheriff's coming with me. Keep up. All right. So you already uh, you already rolled. This, this was already your action here. Uh, yeah, but, but I you get can two move up fight to and roll. Oh, that's right. You do. Because of frenzy. Do. That's right. So go right ahead and make that. Uh, make, make your frenzying. Four. Unfortunately, not quite enough to get its oh, parry. That's almost. right, because it's got a parry. <laughs> so you leap up. Ah, gotcha. And I'm you on get really it. close to it. Yeah. And uh and the you, sheriff is gonna sheriff shoot do. it. And the sheriff's gonna shoot it. And he gonna hit this time or we're gonna have words. What do we say? His rifle? Yep. That's damage. God dang it. Hold please. Right. There. That is enough to hit. Thank you. So he does eleven damage. Excellent. No, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So yes, uh that will um, yeah, oh, we'll so say 9, he 10, shoots it. We'll say he shoots it right before me. If it kind of doubles over, that's when I jump on it. Excellent. Uh, now I think yeah, uh, we're gonna say that it hit the one one of the one. That, I think one of the ones on Willie is shaken right now. If I'm recall, if I'm recalling precisely which ones. Mm -hmm. it, no, it, the, uh, it rolled to sheriff. it rolled to clear itself. I think unless it was the one by the tree. Oh, no, that I think, was I, no, that was the one oh, okay. on Val. Okay. Um, and so. Yeah, this, uh, this, I'm going to say the sheriff hits the one that is not uh, shaken because that is enough to put it down immediately. He hits it, it gets right to the head, and it immediately falls down. Um, so that is, a, that is yet another one. So now you only have, uh, you now only have four that are in your immediate vicinity. Three of which um, are on the sister. <laughs> well, two of them are on the sister. There's one kind of, uh, kind of, kind of, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then there's one on, uh, uh, one on the judge and one on uh, on Willie. That poor and, judge. Uh, let's see. So that was your turn, and now it is Willie's turn. What would you like to do? Uh, Willie's going to do a multi-action attack here. I want to try to hit the one that's on me with my first uh, shot. I know that I have to beat its parry, but he's going to go ahead and take a shot with his uh, the darker steel of his two pistols. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. definitely enough. Um, that, that, that hits with a raise. <laughs> okay, uh, so you got a total of six damage, which unfortunately is not quite enough. You can, however, if you like, spend a chip to re-roll that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and spend that chip to re-roll that because that's not great. 
All right. And that ain't much better, but it's seven. <laughs> that it is, is what bad. you needed to. Uh, yeah, that one, I believe, was the one that was already shaken. So you have uh, you you put it down. What does this look like when you uh, you're, you're right up next to it? He just as soon as Val and everybody jumps on and and Val hits the one. Uh, as soon as he sees her come in and try to stab it from behind, he knows her attacks well enough and he dips down and brings his pistol right up underneath its jaw and aims it away from Val's head. So it, as Val's behind it, it goes out the other side as he shoots it. And then he's going to flew it as that the zombie drops. He's going to step on its shoulder and take two shots at the ones that are on the sister. Excellent. Uh, these will be at negative two because he's doing a multi-attack with all of them, so. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, damn. How that that's, happened. That's, wait a minute, is that, is yeah, that even, a, even yeah. yeah. No, that's you, you put it in line of two, two, so yeah. Two. Yep, yep, there, there we go, so that's one. <laughs> Unless you want to re-roll that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll that. That's embarrassing. All right. <laughs> so now you've got. I, I presume did you spend your uh, your white chip on the previous re-roll? I did. I did. So I should okay. have. Okay. So you've got a blue and a red, uh, and you you can yeah. I, I I recommend just spending it as a white to re-roll in this case because you're you're gonna get like a one d six otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I'll just you. I'll just do a re-roll. That's fine. Okay. All right. I we'll figure you'll spend the red that way, so that way I don't get one. <laughs> Wait, something's wrong with my shooting. Something is, is not right because there is no way Only I can roll it. No, yeah, you can with the minus two. That's because you made too many deals with the devil. It yeah, is. It's a it's a one and a four. No, but yeah, that were you you rolled a one minus a two. Let me take a look. Make sure you're good here. Your shooting it says is a d12. If you don't mind, briefly, do you mind if I just test it out by pressing your shooting button? Yeah, just go ahead. Something doesn't seem. Just to make sure. Oh, there's a six, okay. I guess. Jesus. All right. Oh, woo. Okay, I missed that one, so I'm gonna go with my last shot then um, to the sister. Holy. Still not shit. quite. Uh, not quite enough. You need a four or better. Um, she she probably is more concerned you're trying to hit her at this point. What the fuck? What the fuck did he fuck? Firing all around her. <laughs> no, you haven't quite. Uh, you haven't quite got. Uh, yeah, hit, hit anyone as of yet, but <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Uh, you're getting there. All right. Damn. Okay, so that's uh, those are your shots. Those, they go wide, uh, basically, as this is going on. You just I just, gotta, you I, just, I'm looking up at him, and I just kind of like cock an eyebrow. There's a lot going on right now. It's very dusty. It's very hard to tell. Yeah. Very hard to see what's happening. I'm never um, shooting three times again. <laughs> but, but now it is the turn. But now it's time for the dead to uh, to to do their little jig. Um, oh, Jim, diamonds beat clubs. So, you see, I've got. Uh, He's got a queen. I got a queen. Got a queen. Oh, I got a queen. I Damn got a queen. it. Um, and so, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Put my hat on the ground. Damn it. <laughs> oh no. It'll be okay. When the hat's on the ground, it's all over. I know, I know, man. It's, uh, we're done. Uh, let's see, so first one that's on the, it shambles up to the sister mm -hmm. and attempts to uh, attempts to strike her and no. uh, does not at all. Yes. Second one shambles up to the sister and does not at all yes. because it only gets the one die. Um, and th these things have terrible eyesight as it turns out. Well, that's good, I'm spouting um, scripture at them. It's like, eh. um, and uh, let's see, that leaves us with, uh, there was one on the judge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought there were four left for some reason. There was one on the judge. One day I will learn how to chart things better. But uh, let's go with the one on the judge. That one also fails miserably. And uh, oh yes, the fourth was the was uh, uh, had tried to hit the sheriff before. <laughs> is going to try we one more time. We just left that one. He's going to try one more time and fail. Uh, so who? <laughs> these 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 folks are not very good at, at hitting anything. Um, so that's uh, that's that's the, that's the undead's turn. Not very good. I'm very disappointed in those undead. So let's uh, let's go to someone uh, someone who can perhaps brighten our day. Let's head to Erasmus. What you doing? 
Where in proximity would my wagon be? Your wagon uh, would be outside the uh, the graveyard. It'd be uh, over on the street. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's the, the graveyard is not right next to the street. You, there's a, there's a little trail that goes down to it, and then you've got the street. We like just, it. Yes. We like just it. Casually, like, grab the tripod with the camera, just hoisting it over the shoulder, never minding these gang of ruffians, because the dead don't rise from the grave. Um, and is there any undead between me and my wagon? Uh, there are two that are currently engaged with Sister Ruth. Just those two. Uh, all right. There are uh, more undead in the graveyard, but they're kind of not paying attention. Um, at that, I will... Wandering off. Hmm. Okay, so I'll take a shot at the one at Sister Ruth. All See right. if I can't f free... <laughs> free and old friend. You have to have from... a lesson about firing at your friends. <laughs> yeah, but... As long as you hit what you're supposed to hit, I guess you'll appreciate it. Yeah, that's the point. Just hit what you're supposed to hit. Uh, and I do. Okay, good. You do. You do indeed. And that again is with a raise. So go ahead and, and do Nicely your damage. Nicely done. Okay, so that is going to be seven, which is just enough uh, to, uh, to shake it. So, yeah, just shoot that and then start walking downhill towards my wagon, carrying my camera. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, you do that. <laughs> you start heading, start heading that way. Um, it's It can't do much of anything right now because it's shaken. There's one more that's kind of engaged with Ruth. You can, uh, you, do you want to walk past it or do you? Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just going right, right casually by. <laughs> <laughs> like I've I, 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 I've I have fired this firearm. I have just charged it twice. Um and and that should do it. I want to get to my wagon. I need to put the camera away. The film is very delicate. All right. Um so yes. Uh you have uh So yeah, you have just uh you, you managed to give it just enough of a berth. There's just enough room maneuvering amongst the tombstones. Uh, to uh, to stay out of its reach, as you uh, as you go past the, uh, the 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 one that is not currently shaken, um, and uh, that is you. Uh, so now we go over to Sister Ruth, who needs to unshake. So the first thing I need you to do is make a spirit roll for me. Okie dokie. Six. And that is enough. So you are no longer shaken. You can act. What would you like to do? Okay. Oh. You got two on you. One of them is shaken. I've got two on me and one of them is shaken. Okay. It's, uh, blah, 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 blah. okay, I'm going to, yeah, uh, she's gonna do what she does best. Um, she's gonna break out her holy symbol uh, and she begins to kind of, uh, again, spout scripture and pray, uh, but she's actually gonna use her first power and she's gonna blind the both of these creatures. Excellent. With holy Excellent. light. Um, so uh, you again, you know, she kind of uh, she whispers under her breath um, and forces the the uh, cross or crucifix forward um, as it lashes out uh, a bright light. Uh, so let's see. This I was affected by this malicious power suffer blurred vision or near complete blindness with a raise. So success means the victim suffers a negative two, two penalty to all actions requiring sight or a negative four with a raise. Okay. So this is your, you make a faith roll to make mm -hmm. this happen. To make this happen. That I can do. Yep, I can do. Hmm, wasn't very good. Can I use that beautiful chip that Theater Nerd just gave me to re-roll that? Yes, what color chip was that that uh, got, uh, that, It uh, was a blue, uh, legendary one? Legend. It was a 900. You got a legend chip. Yes, okay. I did. Okay. Let me see if I actually have the have the graphic prepared for the legend chip. Yes, <laughs> legend chip. That's fucking awesome. You know. Thanks, the internet. Cause you know the sister needs it. When, uh, you know those times when you when you're when you're pre when you're prepping something and you are trying to remember. Uh, don't forget to do this one thing. And I forgot to do that one thing, so I'm going to use this for now, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll say there you go. You have a legend chip. Wow, um, it's so that, big. Uh, well, we'll use that graphic for it for okay, now. Okay, perfect. Um, and 
Yeah, so uh, that if you want to spend that, that's going to give you, uh, you it, whatever you roll, you're going to, uh, you, you basically can add uh, plus two to it. Um, so you can either re-roll right. or you can add a, uh, uh, or add a d6, whichever you prefer. I will re-roll because I have a d10 for faith. Okay, go uh, ahead and re-roll and I'll uh, add the plus two, two to it. Woo! That's considerably better. Yes! Um, yeah, yes! That was amazing. Uh, that's exactly what she does. Uh, and she'll blind the two of these creatures. Um, yeah, and she's just like... Absolutely. They yeah. are now at, what, minus four to everything? <laughs> yep, minus right. four to everything that they do because they have no Awesome. Sight. Blind is a... Uh, is Blind hurts. I almost, <laughs> Blind I almost hurts. didn't take it. I almost didn't take it, and it was the last uh, power that I chose. So, awesome. and it only so cost me are... a point to cast it. They are both blinded now. They can't. They are. They're like. Ah! What does this look like when you do this? Um, I imagine. Yeah, she kind of like thrusts the uh, the crucifix in their face, and the the kind of light flashes out like a camera flash almost um, in their eyes. Um, as she, um, I don't know, she's gonna spell um, something harsh from like Ephesians or something. Like um, Ephesians is one of those books where you just read and you're like, wow, that's harsh. Um, what was the, um, oh yeah. Um, for all the, our struggle it is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against the powers of darkness. And she just like blasts light outwards um, from them and blinds the hell out of them. And then she turns to fucking run. Excellent. Well, they're blinded. They, they 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 can't see crap right now. Um, so yes, you can definitely uh, you can definitely now uh, now run if you so desire. I, the, the sister turns and starts heading for Whoa. her horse uh, because where there is some, there is many. So you see them sort of clawing out, and uh, but they can't. Uh, normally, they would get a even get a swipe at you at minus four, but since you spent a legend chip on that, I'm not even going to do that. You rolled a seventeen, for goodness sake. They're like, ah! <laughs> they have no idea even what they are doing. Um, so, wait, that is that is the your... Reverend's turn? Um, uh, so yeah, you also have the the Reverend. What is the Reverend? He's doing? got one on him. Um, I think that we, I think that one has transferred over to the, uh, and, uh, no, the Reverend actually shot, I, I think, you know, the Reverend, the Reverend shot sh one. Shot one, but it didn't um, kill it, right? Yeah, and, and so, yeah, he, he doesn't have any on him right now. There's one on the sheriff, there's one on the judge, okay. and then there are those two that were blinded. I'm going to think the Reverend at this point probably dropped, I would think, in character, like, as long as he's got enough space to be able to leave without being attacked, he would drop the weapon and haul ass. Oh, yeah, he can totally do that. Yeah, that would, um, the Reverend's not even going to bother shooting anymore. He he, he runs. Yeah, he will he will head after you, um, and uh, easily again these things are blinded, so you can see well enough to get around them. Um, the the two that were kind of blocking the exit, um, and so now we're down to Elijah. What would you like to do? Elijah is like Patton. He just fucking steps through the fucking. He just kind of pushes past the judge. How can I get to who I just shot in front of me? What do I need to do? Do I, so, I, I mean, I was hoping that Pope would get on his fucking wagon and we could start heading towards. Well, well, which one, which one do you want to shoot at? I don't want to shoot any of them. Oh, I want to get okay. to the, who I just shot beyond me. Oh, the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get to the horse? Yeah. Yes. Well, there, you've now got a clear, uh, you've not, you now got a clear path to the exit. Okay. Um, thanks to the sister. So you can start booking it that way. Um, you can get basically out to, uh, I'm going to say you're not going to quite get to the street this turn if you run. Um, but I you can get, get on. I want to go on a horse. Is there a horse close to me? Oh, you probably have your horses. Uh, I'm guessing hitched up just outside the, uh, the, if, if not in, then just outside the cemetery. Yeah. Well, so I yes, you go, can absolutely get to your horse. I will go for a horse, but as I go by, I'm going to help the judge. I'm going to throw my tomahawk into the, whoever the judge is fighting. I'm going to throw my tomahawk in him and I'm going to jump on my horse and head toward where I shot. Okay. possible. So you've got uh, you're doing two actions here, um, while running. Is it, oh, uh, so it's, so it's, that is so two actions. So uh, while running, it's going to count as three actions. Um, if you if you want to make it clear all the way across the cemetery to the horse, and then also no, throw a tomahawk. I just want to go for and the also, horse. Yeah, if you just want to make it to the to the horse without further movement on the horse's part, uh, then it'll just be two actions. Okay, I'll take that. Um, so you you don't have to roll for running. 
Uh, here, uh, I'm not going to make you do that, but uh, for your tomahawk, you're going to roll athletics to throw that thing. And it's going to be at minus two for the multi-action. Okay, unfortunately, that's not going to be quite enough unless it's factory in already. Nope, nope. Uh, so um, it's, it, it is going to, it goes, sails past the, uh, uh, sails past the thing's head um, and lands near the, uh, near the judge. Okay, well, he's going for he's going for the horse to get to catch up okay. to whatever. You make it up to your horse, you uh, and you you leap up on. You're now on your horse, and yeah. that is where your turn ends. Yep. And we will now the go judge, ahead. The judge will. What do you want the judge to do? Yes. He wants to. He wants to attack. Awesome. He wants to get this thing off of him immediately. All right. Yeah. And if I have to, I, I should have re-rolled the last one. Damn, I'm so stupid with that tomahawk. Damn, I should have re-rolled that thing. He will, if he needs to, he will re-roll. I will give him a fate chip to re-roll it. Yeah, he's still got, uh, he's still got, I think, one left uh, that he can use. It's just oh, basically I can't a use Benny. Oh, for me, okay. Uh, well, he can't, I, I'll let you if you want, but he's still got yeah. one he can use up. Um, okay, use his. So he's, uh, so he, he just, but, oh, uh, this is a five? Yep. Did he hit? Uh, that hits. Okay. That's gonna shoot. hit. He's, gonna, he's he's shooting a he's shooting the the Walking Dead on him, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, that Anything hits. Anything in front of him, he's shooting. So he'll shoot his shotgun. And blows it away. Yeah. That is definitely. So I'm gonna I'm gonna now in order to do the double barrel shotgun, he will need to step back. So I'm just gonna make one quick roll on the part of the uh, on the part of the undead to see if uh, he's able to swipe him when he does that. Still gonna get the shot off, but I just want to see. Uh, do do do. And no. So yeah, he definitely evades the swipe. Comes back, brings the shotgun up. And uh, is he doing? Uh, is he doing both barrels or just the one? Yeah, he's unloading. All right. So <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be. Uh, this is effectively. Uh, this is effectively two shots, uh, so he's going to get the uh, uh, second shot also with the second barrel. Do we, does that count as bonus damage, or do I need to shoot again? Yeah, just go ahead and do and hit the shooting button once more. Oh, good oh God! Yes. Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> uh, so yes, yeah, so so he's going to get six d six. I think this is. Yeah. I've got it automatically at three d six. So just hang do that and twice. judge. Absolutely, hang and judge Clark. Yep. So let's see. That's uh, yeah. He he destroys this thing. Yeah. It basically, he's like, <laughs> he steps back, and the, it the top separates from the bottom. You have been found guilty. Boom! And blows that thing. Certainly away. has. <laughs> that one is gone. That one is absolutely gone. So that just leaves there are two blindly stumbling around. One that's on the sheriff, and like I said, others that are sort of wandering around aimlessly. Uh, and uh, so we do have this round still. As we come around, guess what, Elijah? You've got an ace. This time it's Ruth that gets the two. Finally! Now gets a five, and let's see, Willie. She's get clearly not good at a running. King or a Joker! Nice. Folks, I'll be taking that there, Joker. Joker. You're goddamn right. A Joker has been drawn, uh, and uh, so everyone is actually going to get a uh, is going to get a fate chip as a result. Um, since apparently the fate pot is out, I'm just going to give you some of these. <laughs> <laughs> For I am using that rule. There we go. There you go. All right. All right. So now that we are now that we are there, let me go ahead and uh, see this. Really, it's it's really one zombie and two blind ones that are uh, that are trying to deal with that. Uh, they go on a five. So uh, the Joker. Is uh, is Willie's? That means you can, if you wish, go first, or you can just interrupt somebody. 
Uh, Willie is going to hold his action to see if his friends, he's going to be the last one out of the graveyard, but he wants to make sure that if anybody gets caught up, um, that's when he's going to intercede. So he's All just right. going to... So you are, uh, you're basically holding, watching everything that's going on here. Um, so we're going to go to Elijah. You've got an ace and, uh, you are bolting after that, uh, in the direction of that horse. Yes. Um, wherever shot? that mother, wherever that, uh, MF -er fell, he's going for him. I mean, he is determined. Excellent. Um, I'm not even really going to make you make a ride check on this because it's, uh, this is a thing where, um, you just have to get there. Um, so. Uh, yeah, you head in that. Uh, you, you head immediately in that direction. You get the the, the horse off toward it. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm going to. So you were heading in that direction. You're doing that this turn, and next turn, uh, you will get to the edge of that warehouse, and I will tell you what you see. Okay. So that says uh, so that's your action this turn. Um, also, the judge is still in your uh, uh, in your hands, though. If you want him to do something else. Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? The judge is gonna. Uh, he he is, he is thoroughly upset that he uh, has let anything go and and feels very slighted. So he's gonna shoot. Uh, who's who's being who's being who is tangled up? Uh, just the at this point, just the sheriff is being directly attacked. Yeah, he'll shoot the sheriff. Or he'll shoot. Uh, <laughs> he, will, he will not shoot the sheriff. I have a sentence or on the deputy. deputy. Or the deputy. Or the oh, deputy. Good. <laughs> right. he, will shoot. he will shoot. Judge uh, Clark has finally lost it. He's like, <laughs> ah. He's like, ah. So Put go ahead and roll thing his. Off uh, you and he shoots. Roll his shooting. Okay. Uh, yes, that's definitely going to hit. This Judge Clark, this motherfucker <laughs> is a, a shooting motherfucker. I'll give you Gonna hit with a raise. Yes. Uh, bah! Did, you, did you already roll the damage? Was that the one there before I did that? not roll the damage. Okay. Shotgun damage. Okay. Um, well, yeah, the, with the raise, that will, uh, that, that will be enough, uh, to, uh, to shake it. Um, so that one, too, is shaken. It's, sure. Uh, we need to be uh, more... We need to we need to be more selective of how we hang or kill next time. <laughs> Is he lecturing us while we're running? Yeah. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Judge. We Clark should listen to that U.S. Marshal more. <laughs> How strange. Uh, well, let's move on. Let's move down the line here to Erasmus. Uh, you uh, you're 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 about at the exit now. Uh, Want to do anything? Right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head over to. To my wagon, gingerly set the tripod and camera down, mm -hmm. and just by happenstance, uh, remove the Winchester from the, ra the wagon. <laughs> you have it now. Um, turn around back. Is there any of the zombies left in the graveyard that's accosting anyone? Or they uh, all... yeah. So well, I mean, there are two that are trying to, and they can't see, and then there's one that is trying to accost the sheriff and is having a little trouble. Oh, uh, we'll try and free the sheriff up, up with his dance partner. Um, so let's see if I can't provide a small miracle again. <laughs> Excellent. All right. We'll use one of those. Well, does a four hit? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Four is gonna hit. It's. Uh, that, you, you that's all it's needed. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hit coming in. I'm going to say this, this is a small area, so I mean, you're still, it, it really is just going to take you a moment to step back up to the, to the railing, basically, yeah. of the, the, around the edge of the cemetery, and that'll put you within, again, in close range. All right, and... So that, so that will hit in that. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and as the shot rings out, just going... Um, sorry, but I think we need to be moving. Yep, so that one goes down. That uh, was uh, that was the one that was on the sheriff, yes? Yes. All right, that one goes down. Um, Nicely done. And uh, so, yeah, that, uh, that puts us over to Val. Cool. Um... So as she sees the one on the 
sheriff go down um i think the reason she's going so late is because she was kind of fascinated by what the sister did um and so she's kind of been staring down after the sister and uh when she sees uh all these undead are down except for those two she's gonna like stroll up there you know flipping her bowie knife back and forth between her hands and have some fun she's definitely not in a running mood she's not today's not a running kind of a day nah. <laughs> had enough running in the last game yeah, yeah right i love it i love it okay seven they're at the negative four right oh right but, well they're ne well they're they're negative four to their rolls to their rolls um, but not yeah, yeah so their parry is still five um but uh, yeah, that's gonna hit cool uh seven damage total seven yeah so yep. if it's a total of seven then it does not hit with a raise but it's uh it's still mm -hmm. okay, oh so right right so six so um, it's a six okay yeah um so yeah, unfortunately, that yeah, that's because it's it's you have to get it you have to do seven to uh to. to oh, to I it understand. Down. So uh, she does it again. Yeah, you want to reroll? Sure. You got. Uh... No, no, I'm not rerolling. I'm just taking my okay. other second. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. Right hit. Eight. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll definitely hit. Nice. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> okay. So. She's just um, like poking it as it like. So the one that around. was. Uh, so the one that was uh, was not shaken um but is you know blinded you manage to basically where do you put the knife <laughs> oh um i just like the idea of doing like a big old x across its belly and then yeah. it goes Bleh. it does so it's like ah, and as it comes down you can basically do a following stab real quick into its head and it comes yeah. out it's like ah, and, and i just no step more. out of the way of the guts yep it is no more um and uh Let's see. You also have a, a uh, the sheriff as well. Oh Not right. Uh, she, though she looks up at Willie first and does a little bow, um, and then <coughs> the sheriff will. Uh, now that he's freed up, will definitely shoot at it. No, he won't. As Willie interrupts to kill <laughs> the final zombie. <laughs> Uh, Willie's going to uh, not shoot with a negative two. Under no mm. circumstances is he shooting with a negative two. Why? It's not happening. It's not happening. You have a D12. You can do it. Yeah, I thought. The uh, Joker gives you a plus two as well on top of everything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's nice. nine. All right. And so you're shooting at the uh, at the remaining, uh, the remaining undead? Yep. All right. Uh, yes. Tell me what this looks like when you take this last one out. He spins his the darkened pistol he has out in a sunset flip, which is hilt barrel, and he catches it and fires and just blows the top of its head off. He swings it down and puts it in his quick draw holster and looks at Val. Can we go now? Oh, it looks like the party's over. And he bows. <laughs> Are there more coming out of the ground? Not at this point. Now, okay. the ones that uh, the ones that are uh, that are up, basically at this point, that that uh, are either starting to fall down again, or uh, they're just sort of twitching enough that, and not paying attention that you can really just make quick uh, quick work of them. You can just mm -hmm. you know go right up to them. They're not. They they didn't quite make the. They didn't quite make the journey through the I veil. see. I see. Uh, and so, uh, and so that will uh, that will take care of them. The sister would like to begin all of these bodies. She's gonna mm -hmm. start stacking them right at the entrance of the graveyard, and then she's all gonna right. burn them. Okay. So. I strongly suggest someone goes and helps uh, <laughs> yeah, the like, marshal. Drag it. Yeah. Uh, oh I, well, that's on him. I can't run that far. <laughs> Darn. I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Sister's like, go, go. Uh, she can handle burning the bodies. Okay. Willie will like high five the sister as he goes by. We are uh, we are out of uh, we are out of combat at this point. 
Um, well. I tell the sheriff and the judge and whoever else is around to go help Sister Ruth. Uh, and then I'm going to search the deputy. <laughs> So yes, now that you, uh, so just uh, going around here, as you, uh, as you kind of get up to the, uh, to the deputy, and you are just sort of looking at him, you, you notice now that um, he was gagged. Now that you've got a look, at, uh, a decent look at him. Hmm. He had a gag through his mouth, in his mouth. Um, and... Yeah, it looks like he doesn't have any. Uh, he, he had. He still had the. Uh, he still had a gun, apparently. Um, but he couldn't get at it because his hands were bound. God, how did he do that so quick? Do you have? Uh, do you have the occult ability by any chance? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I can roll is, unskilled. You but... can roll. You can roll unskilled. Yeah, go okay. if you want. I was about to say his sister does. Nope. But... You're not absolutely sure, but you think that there is there's something very weird about that. It's like the, these are very solidly tied ropes. There's no way he could have been, yeah, yeah. There's there's something that doesn't add up here. Does he have any money on him? Um, roll a uh, roll a d12 for me, please. I like it. He has seven dollars. Yes, I take it. <laughs> so that's going on whilst the bodies are being stacked and, mm -hmm. and burned. Um, outside of the uh, outside of the graveyard, uh, I'm presuming that everyone else is bolting in the direction of the uh, uh, in, of that that warehouse. I'm going to jump on Nelson, my horse, if I have a chance. Okay. You, you have a chance, um, but uh, I will say Elijah's going to get there first. Really big on the, the name of Elijah for, or Nelson for your horse. <laughs> Elijah, you... Because he uh, likes to ride you. That's where, that's where I get... That's what I'm getting at there, pal. You ride up, and as you get up there, you see the horse, and you see blood, the, the blood from the horse, uh, the horse is sort of lying on its side. It's, uh, it, it is wounded. Um, you don't immediately see, you don't see Watts. Okay. So I don't see no tracks at all? Make a survival roll for me, please. Oh, uh, so I, you can I, do I, your I tracking. Need, I need to take this shit. Survival? Yeah, I took that off. <laughs> oh, okay. So then you just make an unskilled roll, and I'll tell you how much information you get. Where's here. the unskilled? Okay, yep, I got it. I got it. Oh. Okay. Um, that was Judge Clark that you just rolled on, so you need to roll oh, on. Oh, shit. Here. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Oh, no worries. That may be why you don't have it. <laughs> yes, that's probably why I don't have it. I don't, that's probably exactly why I don't have it. <laughs> Thank you, Dot. Thank you. You're Thank so you, very Ruth, welcome. Ruth. Thank you for Full my great wisdom stupidity. for us tonight. <laughs> yes. It, that, that, okay. It would not happen. No, it's you got good. it. It's well, worse. you got a 10. You got a <laughs> 10 because you got a, a wild die. All right. <laughs> you do see tracks. Um, and it's not, yeah, it's not like you're seeing footprints exactly, but yeah, you see that it's like, and since you got a raise on this, as you're looking, you, you've got a direction, and it looks like he might be wounded. It looks like he's not exactly dragging his leg, hmm. but he that did hurt him. He went in the warehouse, I'm assuming. So it looks like either, well, yeah, it looks like, um, yeah, as he's, uh, you're sort of, sort of looking around. Yeah, it's not like, yeah, it, 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 he was moving a little slowly, and it looks like he was moving toward the, uh, towards, out toward the, the scrublands a bit. Hmm. He's got a little bit of a head start. Can I see him? That's just the thing. For some reason, you can't, but you oh. know you should be able to, given the uh, given the way the tracks are going. 
Oh, if you went in that warehouse, I was gonna set it on fire. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, you do, it doesn't look like you went into the warehouse. You you can you can follow these tracks and see kind of where it is, but it's like. Yeah, there is something that doesn't quite add up about that as well, because it's like, you know, he should just be like over there somewhere. But he ain't. And you don't see him. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to cautiously head, head forward. Can't, he's hurt, so I know he's going fast. Yeah. <laughs> Do I see anything out of the ordinary, Jim? Make a notice roll for me, please. So you get kind of a, you're getting kind of a gut feeling that you get from time to time when you've, you've seen enough of the supernatural at this point that you think he's probably done, either he's done something or there's something You know that the, you know enough about him to know that he is that this is a trick that he's pulled on people before. He's actually he's probably pulled it on you before. Um, yes. Where he just vanishes. Yes. And it's like he should still be in the area, but it's like he kind of has this is is, is this magician thing that he does or something, where he will no longer be visually there you know he's got to be around here somewhere though have i been able to, to, to uh figure out any uh since i've seen it before any way anything that i can figure out that he is that my best guess or no you've got a direction yeah so yeah you can head up and look at the terrain and i'm gonna go off of the same role that that, that same survival role you just okay made. Okay. You're, it's going to uh, take you a can minute. Can I set things on fire in front of me? Yeah, you can, uh, if if you wish, if you have a source yeah, of uh, a source of flames. On fire. He's yeah, just you throat. know, if you uh, if you feel the need. Um, but uh, it's going to take you a moment as you're sort of getting up to, you sort of cresting up on, on on top of a hill, and you get a lay of the land. Yeah. You think you while you can't see exactly where he is, you think you've got a pretty good idea of where he's headed. Which because way? Because he's headed. There is a, uh, now that you're just sort of looking around and you're looking for just sort of features anywhere that you think that someone like this would hide. Um, this town isn't really big enough for him to do the trick of hiding amongst the populace. But in the distance, you do see a cave. Mm. And at this point, the others, uh, can really I make an earth roll on that? Hmm? Well, right. no, you see the cave. Okay. He he would he would aim. Um, oh. Yeah. You want to? You want to? You're, you're ready. You're, you want to yeah, get? Yeah, ready. yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to you aim and him? see what he's seeing with okay. his helicopter sight. I am gonna give you. Yeah, I'm gonna. This is gonna be an excruciatingly difficult uh, notice roll because of what's going on here. Um, but can I, I will. A, uh, can I use a die? Can I use a chip? On this? Yeah, absolutely. On on, on this, uh, you're going to need probably at least two raises. So you're going to need like a twelve or better uh, oh, to to be able to get <laughs> to pinpoint. Well, that ain't happening. <laughs> but you know, things these things have happened. You have chips. It could happen. All and right. remember, the dice explode. Well, um, you as you're doing this, it? I will say Willie and Erasmus are coming up, and they see you just sort of up on the ridge, sort of looking around. Okay. Well, I was going to say. Take my well, yeah, well, while you're doing that, uh, Willie was going to ride up beside Erasmus, jump off of Nelson and hit the like the the bench seat beside the I'm assuming the bench seat yep. beside the wagon, uh, having done this before and keeping the reins with him. So uh, Nelson's walking beside him. And as he looks up and sees lie throwing fire and doing all kinds of shit, he'll look over at Erasmus and he'll go, what's your best guess, Doc? Hold the same old trick that we heard about before. Um, probably skirted town looking for some place to hold up. Yeah, yeah. Do I hear this? 
Um, I'd say they're probably uh, they, they, unless you unless you guys are deliberately staying away from from where he is, then you probably oh, will oh no, I'm I'm heading there quick yeah quickly. No, you'll you'll, you'll hear with, this distantly with with the wagon the the Winchester is just behind, and on the lap on his lap is his shotgun. <laughs> um, and just with reins with Kennedy riding on up. Um, so, Monsieur Dupont, uh, I do believe that we do not need to set the entire West on fire. So, I know he's a doc, right? We, we've met, we know each yeah. other. Doc, he dies. I told you this. He needs to die tonight. And I will do whatever it takes to kill him. I'm gonna put him in that grave that we buried. We we dug a long time ago. He needs to go. You know it, and I know it. He did, Elijah is in furious right now. You need to calm down a bit. You go running in anywhere where he's hole up. He's got the drop. I say we send Val in. I was no. gonna suggest that. I walk up, guide him no, on horse are you Jasper. Kidding? Really? and crunching on an apple. About this time, I imagine the pile of bodies goes. Oh yeah. As yeah, Sister it's, Ruth like tosses it's burning a merrily at this point. <laughs> there's, um, a, there's a Michael Bay shot behind all of yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> me, me and, me and Poe. <laughs> it's just the sister standing there, yeah. Um, I'll grab my horse and probably ride down, I would think yeah. with, uh, with Valentine. You are um, not sending yeah. Val in there. He ain't gonna shoot me. He, he likes get... me. I suggest that we wait and watch. A critter like that will come crawling out its hole soon enough. If we go chasing it, you just scare it. On its belly, sister? Sure. Uh, and I dismount my horse and go to the injured horse. Yes, yes, it's not doing terribly well. That's good. Well, it's, it's not good. I'm going to make it well, better. Um, and I'm gonna try to heal it. Sure. The horse should be dead. Oh, um, we need to call that horse Lazarus if you do this. Uh, yeah. I agree. Um, yeah, so I, I guess let's see. Um, it's got to be within an hour. Oh, it definitely is within an hour. That's good. Um, yeah, so I guess using, I just roll. Are you using your, uh, your, your miracle or are you just trying to patch it no, up? No, I actually have a power called healing. All right, then roll faith. Okay, here we go. Oop. Hello, yeah. seven. All right. Um, it uh, it really the technically the horse was really just uh, was was more shaken than anything else. I'll say it, maybe it took something like a wound though. I so what does this look it. like as you are healing the horse? I'm sure I just go over and lay hands on it. I say a slight prayer. It probably does that thing where it like bolts back to life and it like jumps up. Yeah. So yeah, it's like uh, th that's the funny thing. It bolts back up and the the wound's gone. <laughs> We'd all be dumbfounded by this, I'm assuming, right? I well, mean, no, I was gonna say, well, this crazy shit is going on. Yeah, I mean, we'd be all like, "What?" The <laughs> Willie, no, no. Willie's gonna turn to the doc. Uh, Willie's gonna turn to the doc and be like, "Hey, did you get a good shot? You think you got a good picture?" Uh, he it's never takes it. Develop. Saying my breath. But I will ask though: <laughs> is a, a uh, horse being reanimated no, behind? I, I want to know this down is, this fucking cave, man. Well, well, yeah. That's the, my my question for Elijah: is Did you make that uh, that notice roll? I haven't, but I'm going to use uh, fate chips too. By the way, you certainly may. But let's see what you get first. Okay, so you've got starting off with a five. Yeah. Um, and uh, what do you want to spend on it? You've got uh, a bunch of you've got a bunch of white chips and a red chip. You've got three white. What's his red, red do again? Red lets you add a d6. I'll and, do that. Uh, I will also get a, a, a <laughs> <laughs> theoretically, but uh, so you want me to roll d6? Session, it won't really work. Jim will so, just yeah, sneak that, that in. Oh, I get a chip too, but thank you. Everybody. Well, uh, if you want, you can spend the spend the red now to add it to the five, which uh, will not give you enough because you'd need a uh, like I said, you'd need a twelve. Uh, oh, so what you might nice. want to do is re-roll that first using uh, using one of the white chips. And then see if you get a number that's high enough that that would be within six of twelve. Oh well, uh, Jim, I don't see me in this, but I will do it anyway. You have you pointed it. out the cave? I have. 
mean, well, he's, he's trying to look for something there, very specific Val. using the scope. <laughs> and no, I'm going see down there, I know. Val. So just get that out of your head. Oh, where down by that cave? <laughs> down there by that damn near cave, yeah. Baron. Everyone can see the cave. Oh, ah, my okay. Oh, that's better. Shit. <laughs> okay, yeah. now that's within twelve. Do you want to go ahead now and spend the uh, spend the uh, I, you the red chip to add gym. the d6. Yes, I definitely want to spend that. Okay, now go ahead and roll the d6. I didn't count that other roll because I hadn't because I didn't hadn't explained it yet. So oh, go ahead shit. and roll hold the d6. On, hold on. And just need a two or better. All right. You see, as you are looking through this scope and you're trying, you're just you know people are talking all around you. Horses are coming back to life. As you're doing this, though, you are focused. You are laser focused through the, your scope, looking at the cave. And you see what looks like an outline. It's not exactly him, but you see where he is. You see his movement. It's like he's, he's doing something to, that conceals his appearance, probably something arcane. And Can I shoot to you may. scare him? Absolutely. Yes. Attempt to shoot. This is now still very long, so I don't know if you can actually hit or not. Well, I'm not trying to hit him. I mean, I will, yeah, if I can, you oh, give me go a ahead. chance. Well, let's see what you roll on the shot. I had a rope around his neck and he wasn't scared. Go ahead and roll on the shot. Yeah, so I just want to throw him off from whatever yeah. he's doing. Go ahead and let's see what you get. Okay. So, so that's... you add marksman. I didn't move. So that's okay. going to uh, that's going to hit near enough that um, he's gonna that you see something happen. Winchester. Yeah, you see something happen. Um, where? You see the you see the outline stumble and waver. He's there, Willie. He's down there. Him. So as he was setting up this meticulous mm -hmm. shot, I hopped on my horse and started riding. Yeah, I was too. All right. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> as you are all, are you all heading in that? That way? would be like stomping if you could like a uh, picture of fucking stomping his. We <laughs> didn't understand anything. Let's him go. Let him go. Is, okay, here's a question: Is the doctor going? Um, yes, but he's he is moving at a much more measured pace. Great. I, the sister's gonna stick with you. Yeah. Because well, like, now that we scared him and he's running, it. Pff, yeah, I mean, no. racing, Willie. Really. Really. Racing. It, it, Rasmus will. <laughs> Pull on Kennedy's reins and let the sister get up. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get on it. Uh, you know, I, I I hook my horse up just so it comes with us, and I let the other one, Lazarus, as it is so called, uh, ski daddle. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna ride with his shotgun, literally, in my lap. I'm gonna take a drink. <laughs> Quite all right. I, and I'm sure the sister has just very faint words. As you all how, are, yeah, how we did it. Heading, heading up. See. Coming closer to the cave, and you will see from within a light begins to emerge, a green light. Shit, that and ain't good. You realize as you get even closer, you see it's two pinpoints almost of green light standing about where a person's eyes would be. And you hear again that voice echoing out from seemingly no source. You hear him say, well, I reckon I underestimated you. You went and made me do it. I hope you're happy because now all hell's about to break loose. And that is where we are going to end for the evening. Well, folks, I thank you all very much for attending this here game, the first of our in our in our Deadland series, and uh, we shall go around once more 
and uh, ask folks to, how they're doing. Any uh, any thoughts about this session and where folks can find them? I am very much looking forward to next week. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I guess I'll just go same order since that uh, that ends up about where we want it to. So I will start again with Pope. Hey everybody, Pope here. Hmm. Well, it's good to be back in the weird west, especially after such a long time gone. Um, as to where you can find me, uh, when I'm not lurking in all of your streams, you can find me here Monday nights as part of this fantastic new campaign. And then you can catch me every other Sunday night, 9.30 Eastern, over on Matt Hev's 7th channel uh, for the dreadful beat of DJ Strahd. So, terrible, terrible times. One dressed in neon, one dressed in leather. Um, as, as we see this, as for this evening, hmm, Jim, you have this nasty habit. <laughs> like, every... Dead Rising, fine. What looks like a huckster trick, fine. L him getting away with invisibility, fine. But then you had to do the damn green eyes thing. Y you had to push the damn button. Uh, anyway, I want to say to this fantastic cast, Jim, all of you watching at home, uh, whether it's live with us, through the VOD, or on YouTube. Love you all. Thank you for being here, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thank you so much. I'm going to, uh, I think I'm really going to enjoy Erasmus as this campaign unfolds. <laughs> and, uh, hey, Dot, how's it going? It, it's going. It is going. I mean, the sister got to burn bodies today, so... We've accomplished something. We've that accomplished something. Uh, yeah, I'm Little Red Dot. You guys can find me on Twitch and Twitter as such. I'm a Twitch streamer, GM, and a digital storyteller. Uh, I roll a lot of dice, play a lot of games on awesome networks just like this one as well as my own. So I'm actually closing two campaigns out this week uh, and opening this one. So um, yeah, check it out. Come, come. Um, yeah, come check it out. That's all I can say. I'm very excited to be here and I appreciate, uh, you know what, Lauren, correct me, of inviting me back. The last time I was on here, I laughed so hard during our one shot that I forgot uh, that I was actually here once before. Uh, it was absolute insanity. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back this time, not playing Lady Dottie Rouge, but playing Sitzer Ruth Ramis. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You played for the queen on this panel. I did. I did. Yes. I, played, I was Lady Dottie Rouge. Glorious. That's right. And you should know after that game, Lady Dottie Rouge has become an ongoing in evil NPC across the dot lot sunday fun days like she she causes chaos so anyways that being said i have to thank the uh, tales from the grim for that and uh, these amazing people and i am so excited to continue playing this game brilliant brilliant awesome i i really like uh, i like what we're seeing of ruth already and this uh, i i i can't wait to see more and uh steven hey how's it going how well i mean literally this is my game i found it i mean it is here I love, I love literally everything about what we did tonight. I mean, this is just such fun. I mean, Jim, amazing job, brother. You are fantastic. Uh, I, I didn't want to stop. No kidding. So uh, amazing. The, the the rest, the other four, great. I mean, love literally every character. They're all great, fantastic. <laughs> uh, Catch me next week uh, here shooting this motherfucker that we're looking in this cave at. So I love that we keep thinking that's an option. I just have this dead. feeling. I have this feeling that that's just not going to be enough. But you keep hoping, Elijah. You keep that faith. <laughs> that bullet's going in that head. <laughs> <laughs> he's, de he's dead. That motherfucker's dead, in his opinion. <laughs> so loved everybody was fucking fantastic. Uh, I'm going to use the F word and amazing. Thank you. In the end, there can be only one Elijah. Deuces. <laughs> Deuces. 
It was funny because it wasn't until we nearly we'd almost started that I realized that the bad guy is the same name as your character's first name. <laughs> so it's just an odd thing. Uh, but very good, excellent. No, I, 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 I'm really liking this. I'm really liking also just with the history and everything that your uh, your character's bringing to this, and I really want to. I, 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 I like. I want to see how this how this goes. Absolutely. And uh, Lauren, hey, how's it going? Good. It's been. Uh... How many hours have we been here? <laughs> five and a half? It's you, been five and a half hours. Yes, you and I started five and a half hours ago. Uh, so, and Steve did too. Did he though? Um, I'm Lauren, I'm that salty ginger over on Twitter. Why, you can catch why, me here why? on Sundays and Mondays. You know why. Good night. <laughs> mm. And before I uh, uh, hand things back off to Greg, um, as for me, I'm Jim Ryan. Um, I am Other Doc on both Twitch and Twitter. My website is jimyesthatjim.com, where uh, you can find links to my various uh, podcasts, audio dramas, writings, and such. Um, over on my Twitch channel, Channel Other Doc, uh, I do, uh, and tomorrow we're premiering our uh, November short campaign. I do short campaigns every month, and that's going to be Alas for the Awful Sea. Uh, it takes place in the 19th century in the British Isles, and a crew is going to run afoul of things going on in a town and also its legends and uh so i'm very much looking forward to that we're doing our session zero tomorrow um and uh, then i'm actually going to be away for that weekend i'm going to be at mace uh, here in charlotte north carolina uh running games of various types um i'm, I'm, I'm actually going to be doing uh for the queen and uh, the quiet year and everyone is john and all manner Good of lovely choices, zero sir. threat games like trying to Trying to trying to shine a light on some of the indie stuff here. Yes, yes. Um, for, and uh, so that's uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. I go every year. Um, but uh, when my channel is back in uh, back in service after that, uh, normally uh, on Saturdays we have Invisible Sun, and on Sundays we do all manner of different one shots. And uh, I usually have uh, signups open for those things, which will again be happening soon. So feel free to check out jimmyesthatjim.com, click on game sign up, and go there. Otherwise. Monday nights, I am here. I am all yours. Over to you, Greg. Well, thank you so much, my friend. This has been a pleasure. Um, getting okay. So, uh, those of you that have watched me before, whenever, especially when I'm a player, but also when I'm a GM and DM, um, I always think of art from each particular episode. If I wanted to commission a piece of art, what would it be? And I think for this one, it was established pretty early in the session. I think I want that initial shot of them taking Eli Watts, you know, putting him on the pony, everything getting set, all of us kind of gathered around, and that crazy bastard Pope getting ready to take a picture. That is the, I want the picture behind the scenes of all of that. That was a fantastic little bit of flavor that I loved so, so much. That's what kind of pushes this type of, for me, this type of genre. Um, mm -hmm. It makes it so believable and so... Uh, and then we had the, the the great supernatural stuff with the blinding and the flare and the the power of Christ and great or whatever. Uh, Did it great, compel you, Greg? I'm a bit compelled. I, I feel I feel the compulsion. Uh, but anyway, I had a great time, Jim. Fantastic! I can't wait to uh, get into the heads of these characters and just sit back and watch and have a seat in the front row as a nun and an agency man and a pair of siblings that seem to not quite get along and how they handle with an outlaw and this is a uh, this is super super duper duper fun grimjack21502 on the twitter part of the tales from the grim team here on the twitch um this friday starting up at 1 p.m eastern standard time we have katie phase she's coming in and doing a little monsters of the week as we are going to dive into that fantastic scenario can't wait to do that for um the next couple weeks it's going to be a blast I, I'm just having a, a lot of fun playing with friends. Follow all of these people, everyone. They are kind. And you can be fans of their RP. You can be fans of their creative outlets. That's all wonderful and good and should be supported. But what should be supported above all of that is the kindness that each and every one of these people show to strangers on an everyday basis. Um, join them. Follow them on Twitter. Get a little kindness in your life. It's the best. But anyway... I will see you all. Have a fantastic day, a fantastic tomorrow, 
And as the campfire goes down, there is only one thing left to say. You can't always roll nat 20s, but you can always role play. See you next time, friends.